блиц, я пейскую руку думаю. Let's go, let's go. Beat selling squad live hanger. We got uh we got wars up in the place, we got little trade beats, we got master E. You know what I'm saying? Today's a very good day. Giving thanks for the hangout today, you know what I'm saying? It's it's great to always give back and share with you guys and hang out with you guys, you know, spread the positive energy that we're all working with these days. Um you know, wars what's good with you. Oh man, it's all good. Spread nothing but the love and the positive vibes, you know what I'm saying? Glad all y'all came out, you know, prepared to, to learn and receive, man, and uh, thank you guys for coming up. Man. Eric, what's good with you? What's good, brother? Um, my computer, as you know, my computer, I've been having some problems, but the good thing is I'm still getting about 10 leads a day on autopilot. <laughs> <laughs> the last few days I've been getting like ten or or more, so uh, well, so that's just that's just good, right? So that's good job, good job. <laughs> Thanks, man. Feels good, right? To get just have autopilot <laughs> in the autopilot on, system. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Anything on autopilot. Good job, man. Good job. It's a good feeling to have. It's a real good feeling to have. Trey, what's good with you? I know you were just talking about some results you're getting. What's good with that? Yeah, man. I mean, I'm getting consistent beat sales, man. So it's pretty good. It's pretty good. It feels good, right? Yes. So, so I think the question for you is how to expand it or make it even more consistent. Mm -hmm. Right? You know what I'm saying? So good job on that, though. Good job, 15-year-old. Mm -hmm. Online, you know, producer selling his beats online. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm saying, going for that thousand dollars. Yes, yes. Hopefully, I can make it uh, next year. I mean, next month, not next year, but next month. So, I'm gonna try. That's my goal, actually. Just work on that mindset, bro. After a while, you realize you only have to try. You can just attract. I'm saying, work on that mindset, bro. Just that's what I say. Just go to YouTube. Words. What do you think is some of the best law of attraction videos to watch for basic stuff? Just for the basics, man. Uh, Bob Proctor, of course, he's always spent some good. But for me, that I've been on, that I'm telling you, it's something that you guys are gonna be blessed with and, and easy to understand is uh, Abraham Hicks, man. Get on, get on them audios, get on them YouTube videos, man. They. They really break it down, man, to to any level. You know, so check them out. Well, dude, even um, even the secret, the movie, the secret. That that's a life. That was, that's a life. I still watch that too. Trail, go to YouTube and search for the secret law of attraction. And just watch that video a couple times and let that soak in. Let that soak in. Mm -hmm. you know, I'm Watch it two or three times. Okay, the secret law of church. Yeah, go to YouTube and watch it. It's a full movie. It was good, y'all him? It's good, Retro. Welcome, welcome. Great to have you guys. Great to have you guys on the panel today. So we're cultivating leaders, cultivating leaders. I realize that's what I'm. That's what that's what's going on here is uh, creating a leadership panel. You know what I'm saying? Leaders in the making. You guys obviously know that. That's why you guys are still here, right? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Uh, Retro, what's good with you? How's 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 everything over there? Everything good. Still doing that empower stuff, heavy. Good stuff. That's all I'm working on the most. Yeah, you know, empower is definitely a, a good place to focus. I mean, I focus on beats and empower network, and and focus on self development. You know what I'm saying? And then within all those, that's where you get more specific. Then you start saying like, you know. As far as working on myself, I would say I work on you know studying, reading books, uh, you know going deeper inside myself, meditating, doing practicing gratitude like more and more and more, just making it just a habit, a habitual way of thinking to just think in gratitude, you know, and that's working on myself. Then as far as beats, I focus on getting beat sales. I focus on my optimizing my site, optimizing my my Aweber 
opt-ins, optimizing the emails that I send out, optimizing open the click the clicks rate, optimizing everything, you know, creating new different type of systems, sales, products. Um, that's for Blitz Beats. That's because Blitz Beats, man. Blitz Beats, I created it now. It has a lot of different income sources out of Blitz Beats. Like I have different products, not just beats, obviously, but I have like 280 beats for sale as well. So that and there's so many products, there's so many different options for somebody to purchase, and that's what you guys want as well. That's what you guys need to start figuring out how you can incorporate that into your beat business by having multiple streams of income, not just from beat sales. So, like if you notice you're getting consistent sales, like maybe leases, then you got to figure out maybe you should make it just something, come up with something, a different package of some sort, a different product. What about a successful beat CD, a strong beat CD? You know? mm -hmm. and, uh, start marketing that as well as long aside with with the with the least beats obviously in the exclusive but also I notice when I go deep inside my Aweber and I start emailing my people uh, specific links to beats they they always reply back asking how much for the exclusive rates. Uh, shoot me your uh, email. You know what I'm saying mm. that that's golden. That's a golden bar right there. I'm saying. Yeah. So, because you know, in my flash zone, you can take that one code for the one beat and just email blast that out. But you have to, you know, you gotta just study email marketing, how to write emails, you know. And then as you practice more, you start testing things out. You'll start getting really good at it. I, I, I found a couple of weeks ago. I found a little video of Frank Kern. He, um, he rewrote a, uh, an email for some of his other friends, and he uh, he just made it much more simple and much more focused on the person who opened it to take more action, instead of just writing you know uh, all of that un uh, unuseful stuff in the email. He just made it simple and made it so the people click the link and all that stuff. Right? I actually learned if I can find that, I will send it to all of you guys. That was a very good video I found. Nice. Yeah, there's different ways that people mark that. I learned that as well. There's different marketing marketing types. Like some people use the long copy sales, lots and lots and lots of words. You know, so it's like a sales page as an email. But some, and then and then I like to test out the short, short. Like I just that's what I've been doing today is using short, short emails and maximizing the clicks. So let me give you guys a tip that I've been utilizing. To get more clicks in your emails, in, in your email blasts, the broadcasts, is um, I like to use short messages, <clears throat> maybe five lines max, five lines maximum, not completely filled up either, just <clears throat> very, very simple. But I like to start it off with like, uh, so that you'll, you'll have to, you, before you send an email, you want to send an intention of what you're, what you're going to be emailing, what you want to get from it, what you're trying to do with the email, right? Set your intention. So once you set the intention, then you know what the email is about, so you write the headline, and then whatever the headline is about, whether you want them to download a beat, listen to a beat, check out a beat, buy a beat, whatever it is, then you, can say, then you start the email off, off of like, click here to do this and that, and you'll make the click here part a link, and you can highlight it in the yellow highlight, so that way it looks like a, like a strong link, so you click on it, you know what I'm saying, and then, and then down below you put the actual link to the beat, whatever it is, you know, I learned that that's what's working the best for me, though. Is making it very, very clickable. It's cool to have one link at the bottom, but if you make it really, really clickable, you'll get more clicks naturally. You so I have, what I just said. So I have more yeah, than yeah. one link. Yeah, definitely. Okay. Because I've been doing that too. I have like three links and one, one, and one and, email. Yeah, that's good. But make sure when you write, you can write it in text too. Like click here to do that. Click here to do this and that, and you can make that a link. Hmm. And yeah, highlight it. Yeah, highlight it and stuff or you know, just get creative yeah. with it. Yeah, like I use the, uh, check, check them out here. Whatever works for you. Good job then. I mean email marketing goes deep. I'm realizing more and more I, it's like I'm getting sales. Literally I, oh you guys want to hear a good story? Who wants to hear something something pretty interesting? Mm. I do. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I, I I created this new product. It was last weekend, I believe. It was like Sunday night or Saturday night. Sunday, Saturday or Sunday night, maybe Saturday. So I just finished creating it at like 10 at nighttime. And 
shortly after I just about so I, I wrote up the email blast to go out because the only which traffic I was going to get to it was from the email blast. So I made a nice good email blast. Um, just did what I told you guys. Like I did, it, made it very clickable. You know what I'm saying? And literally, so I sent the blast out. Literally within one minute after sending it out, it got a sale. <laughs> nice. Literally within one minute, I was shocked. I was shocked. <laughs> this was last weekend, Saturday. But not only that, not only that, the sales continued. It got about 15 sales that day. Like the following day, it got about 15 sales. Plus, it's still making sales. But that was the launch of it, basically. Dang. In kind one minute, it got a sale. What kind of product it was? It was a. Um, it was a good product. I, I'm not gonna say what it was. But it was a good product. You, know what I'm you gotta be on my list to know what product it was. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But while we're, but you know while we're talking about you know email marketing all this stuff, you gotta talk about Empower Network. If you're not in Empower Network, you gotta get in Empower Network to join. You know you'll join. This is you know, this is the Beats Up Squad Hangout. It's it's really good, but it's only one half of what we do really because we you see on the other half. We combine with each other on Facebook and stuff in a group, our own private group with Empower Network, which is teaching us how to blog, how to market, how to email market, you know, how to grow successfully, how to be around the right people. So if you want to be around us more rather than just watching us on this video, you can click the link below and get with Empower Network. There's a link down below. You just join and you'll join with all of us. You know what I'm saying? And that's a place you want to be as a producer because you'll you'll as you watch, as you get into the link, put your email in, whatever you got to do, you know, and you watch the videos, you're going to start realizing why it's good for you. And, you know what I'm saying? That's that. So, you guys got any questions so far? Before we get into it? Who's got a question? Yo, can you guys hear me? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Alright, no problem, no problem. Okay, so just to recap, I'd like to I'd like to recap on this uh, two weeks ago we had Postman on uh on the hangout and he gave a he gave a really good tip to get sales like ASAP if you have an email list to get sales ASAP and that is to email your list and make sure you email something of value plus ask for the phone number in return. That way when you get the phone number you can actually call them and my tip is to use Google Talk so that way you can call you know your country around North America for free without having to call pay long distance. And um, you talk to them, call them, ask them, you know, what 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 kind of music they make first of all, that way you can you know choose what type of beat you're gonna send them, ask them what their goals are, and then provide them with the beat that's gonna suit them. You know, I would say give them a discount of some sort. That way, you know, they'd be more inclined to buy right off the bat. Or if you can increase the value on it, then that would definitely increase, you know, the conversion. I hope you guys are taking notes on all this because this is powerful stuff. This is powerful stuff. Who's made sales this month? Who's made beat sales this month? Yeah, good job, good job, you guys, good job, you guys. Keep your hands up, yo. I want, yo. You see, you guys. Wow, I'm very proud of you guys because you guys, how like some of you guys did didn't start not too long ago, and look who has sold beats this month. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Shout out to you guys. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and and as you keep doing more and more marketing, you know, your sales, and as you keep working on yourself, sending out that positive gratitude energy, uh, you know, that's when you're going to start creating miracles. You know, stick with it, yeah, stick with it forever, for always. Once once you know you're on your path, if, you, you know, if you're playing around, then you might not, this might not be your path, but if you, if you know it's your path, then stay with it forever and ever. And you're going to in magical places. Because, I mean, I've been on this path for, I've been on this path as far as music production for a solid three, four years. But I've been, you know, I've been making beats for seven years, selling beats for five years. But I've been really serious about the business for about three or four years. 
And, um, you know, obviously within that time, I've, um, I've experienced a lot of stuff. You know, I've done a lot of stuff online, you know, a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff that did work, a lot of stuff that didn't work. But it's all about the experience. It's all about everything that I've learned the whole time, you know what I'm saying? And now I'm glad to be here to share with you guys what's working because I've been getting successful results, you know. Over five grand a month is successful results for anybody just starting out, you know what I'm saying? So uh, now, but, but now you guys, you know, are going to be doing the same thing, and if not better. And you guys know deep down within yourself that's why you're here, right? If you didn't believe you could do it, you wouldn't be here. But you believe you can do it, that's why you're here. Because you're here to find out how. But the how is the last thing you need to worry about. You need to worry about the how. All you need to know about is the why and the what. Now that's a gold cool nugget. That's a gold nugget. All you need to know is the why and the what. Why do you want to do this and what are you going to do? You don't need to know how, but you need to know the why and the what. Yeah, exactly. I learned that. When I learned that, I actually start doing stuff. Because you just start doing you, stuff. Yeah, if you don't know how, because if you focus on how, then you're always looking to how to do it. And if you can't figure out how to do it, you're not going to do it. But if you know what you want to do, then you just do it. It's, you know, it doesn't matter if it's wrong or right, you just do it. And then you figure out how to do it in the end. So let's talk about a let's talk about a very special topic that uh, you know anybody who any anybody and everybody who watches this you know even just starting to take notes on this can change your life literally literally this is what changed my life is having a DMO a DMO is a daily mode of operation so it's what you do it's like a, it's like having a ritual or your routine right every successful person does. Routines, they listen to similar things, audios, read books, whatever it is. Routinely, like a ritual every day um, as a daily mode of operation to make sure they inject within them, you know, that successful energy on a daily basis because you always want to stay on it. So a DMO, having a DMO for a music producer like what I do is meditation. You know, I, like, I love meditation because meditation uh, helps to remove, like I love working with energy and stuff. And so I'm very, I can feel energy and I, I, you know, when I, when, I, when I feel energy that's around me that I don't like, or that doesn't feel good, I should say, it's good to know how to remove it. So I like to do meditation and stuff to do stuff like that, you know what I'm saying? And then get into reading uh, books, success books, law of attraction books, you know, spiritual books, success books, business books, you know, and journaling, I love journaling. Journaling is so important. I was deep journaling this morning. Journaling such as goals I have, visions I have. This is all a DMO. This is all stuff I do on a daily basis, not just stuff I do when I feel inspired to. You see, for people who fall off, they, they're not, they're not, they don't know why they're doing it, and that's why they fall off so easy. But when you know why you're doing it, you know, then and you know what to do, then you're gonna stay on track. You're gonna stay on track. That's my belief. You gotta know what, why you want to do it though, because I see people fall off easily, and it's just because they don't know their why. Their why they're doing it is not strong enough. That's why they're so easy to fall off. Does that make sense? Is that right or right? Right. That's it. I, I'm, I experienced that. I'm sure you guys experienced that at one point in time in your life, and that's why you gotta you gotta be able to see past it. If somebody who has that issue can look at that and see it like, okay, yeah, that's true. What do I need to start to do? This is what you need to start to do, the DMO. So, um, you know, the meditation, the gratitude, reading the books, the, the foundational book of, you know, the Beat Selling Squad, the Empower Network team that you need to join. If you're not in the Empower Network, once again, click that button below. But the foundation is, this book is a mandatory, straight up. This book is gonna become mandatory. And because uh, it's not just a book you read, it ha actually has daily practices to follow to start getting you uh, in the flow every day. The flow being that positive energy, that gratitude state, which is what a, a law of attraction will work with a lot better than you instead of you worrying about how you're going to make beat sales and how you're going to do this and that. Right? Law of attraction will respond to you how you're responding to it. So, DMO. Now that's 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 the that's the basic morning part, right? The reading all that stuff. Now, 
More than DMO is daily action, having a daily action plan. So what do you need to get done today? You gotta know what you need to get done today. And then you obviously gotta work to get it done. Right? That's part of being entrepreneurs. Managing your time and all that stuff. Managing what you need to get done, especially when you're just starting out and you get building your system. Reading, 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 and reading. Reading, you know, Couple chapters, you know, maybe stick with one solid chapter. But the book like Bowen Rich from Bob Proctor, I would read this chapter over and over again. Uh, but definitely reading every single day, right? That's, I mean, who reads now every day? I know I do. <laughs> Never read a book in my life, y'all. Straight up. <laughs> me too. And that's honestly for me personally. That that's been a life transforming event just by picking up the book and realizing why I'm reading has been life transforming because it instantly expand your knowledge first of all it'll expand your awareness you start becoming aware of new things right you could read one sentence one quote could expand your knowledge could expand your awareness by reading one new quote in a Bob Proctor book for example or even this book uh, before we got on the hangout, I was chatting with Warriors and I gave him a quick line in this book, Law of Attraction. One, like, it was like one sentence for me personally that hit home with me and just helped me to, you know, just expand my awareness. And you don't know what you don't know, right? So if you don't know how to do certain things, you just don't know. So if somebody who knows how to do it is telling you how to do it, it'd be best to empty your cup out of all the stuff you think you know. You know, a lot of people, a lot of us go to that we think we know everything and then we won't listen to what people actually have to say, even if they're more successful than us and they're trying to actually do good for us by teaching us what works and what doesn't work. You know what I'm saying? It works to just empty the cup out and listen to what somebody is actually telling you if they're getting better results that you, than you get or if they're getting results that you want to get. So, you know what I'm saying? Daily action, read, persistence, always sticking with it, never falling off, right? That in, it, that in itself is part of the DMO, is being persistent. And last but, not, last but not least is visualize. Visualizing exactly what you're going, going for, what you're doing, you know, what you want to create. Because we're all manifesting, we're manifesting our life. We're manifesting these experiences, we're manifesting the money. We're manifesting all of the stuff. So you gotta go inside your mind and visualize what it is you want to manifest. Who has a DMO? Who's who has a DMO? Let me see. <laughs> Who's got that DMO? Good job, you guys. Good job. Trey, you gotta get on the DMO. Oh, you mean like a ritual type thing? Right? A ritual, a, a daily, you gotta, yeah. you know, as far, I mean. Man, I've been slacking, man. I've been slacking. Because, I, I mean, I used to do it a lot, but I don't know, I just kind of stopped a little bit. I'm just going to be honest, I kind of stopped, but I need to get back on That's it. the most important part. I'm going to be honest with you. That's the most important part. I'm going to be honest with you. It doesn't matter what business you're in. You know what I'm saying? That is still one of the most important parts. Is getting that DMO of success of the that that flow. You get, we call it flow. It's that flow energy where things can start flowing in and through you, so that way your business can you know do what you want it to do. But when you're not in that flow, your mind and everything is gonna keep you in that worry, like that that vibration that you know where is it? Like I, I don't see it. Where is it? Always looking for it. And that's the point of the whole self-development is to stay strong with yourself, to get the garbage out. Yeah, just to elaborate on that for all y'all who, who are watching, I just started doing a DMO, and now I'm kind of getting now into my routine. you got to find what works for you because basically I know Blitz is throwing a lot at you. Make sure you write it down, but it's for clarity. All, all this that you're doing is for clarity. The thing he was talking about earlier about the how, that's how the how is going to come into play. You start doing a DMO, you start you start doing it on a daily basis. The how is just going to come. In, you know what I'm saying? Definitely get on it. Exactly, you know the how. It's that's the last. That's that's the thing that we that we get caught up on, but it's the thing we don't need to think about. 
right? I was visualizing a $1,000 bead sale in my email, and I woke up uh, yesterday, I think it was, I woke up in the morning, and there, or the day before, and there was $1,000 sitting in my, in my email from a bead sale, you know, and it, it's because I wasn't focused on the how. It was focused on what I want and why I want it. You see, I didn't focus on the how. That didn't bother me, but what, what all that mattered was what, what do I want and why do I want it, and I let it go, you know, because I, I, I believe I believe in myself, right? I believe in myself to the point that ma like miracles manifest like that for me, you know what I'm saying? Post was good, great to have you on board. You probably got to unmute yourself, bro. Who understood what I just said though? Like guys, I just said something very, very deep. Who understood that part? I saw that damn noise. I think that's Trey's computer, yeah. <laughs> Trey, your, shit dying up, your, your shit dying over there, Trey? <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't, I don't. He playing Farmville. <laughs> 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 I'm just gonna have to mute my stuff, man. Just yeah, just mute it. Just yeah. until you talk, just mute it. That's cool. Yeah. Post, what's good with you? What's up, man? Shit, to just trying to get on. Huh? Great to have you on board. Oh man, glad to be here, man. Just trying to get in a few, you know. Liveoffbeats.com, yeah. That's I mean, shit. Like, bro, I was just thinking before this hangout by myself, and I was meditating a bit about a, a, a live event we need to do, um, as far as you know, somewhere where we all actually go meet up and have some sort of amazing event, right? Do like something that. crazy. Something <laughs> crazy, though. not just like that we can just meet up and talk, but something crazy, though, you know what I'm saying? I like that. I like that. Just see what's up. Just tell me where you want to do it at. You know what I mean? We can plan something like that out. This, I'm is, this is the beginning manifestation of that. You know, we're just we're, we're building it, basically, right? Yeah, once you already put it out there, it's gonna happen. You know, I'm thinking like Miami or something, man. You know, what I'm saying somewhere yeah. nice. Yep. Yeah. 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 Oh, it is done. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But I mean, um, that would involve the whole Live Off Beats community. You know, what I'm saying not just not just <clears throat> just a couple of us. Even though a couple of us could go on private trips, you know, just go. Go meet up in different destinations. I know Eric was talking about that. I was going to meet up with even uh, where were we talking about Spain or something. We took, just talk about Europe in general. Yeah, that would Europe be dope. In general, that would be so just dope. go meet up. Go do some marketing out there. Um, you know, I, I realized something. Every time we go and travel as a marketer, as a producer, we should always be uh, ca video cameraing it by getting uh, marketing material from that, because you can market all that type of stuff like. For example, for myself, I travel a lot, and I'm also an entrepreneur, like living the freedom lifestyle. So it's so easy to make marketing material because every time I travel, it's part of the lifestyle of living, you know, the laptop lifestyle. It's part of that. So as you go travel, it's good to have videos of that. You know what I'm saying? It's marketing material. Yeah. And good marketing material like that, I find for myself personally, it works very beautiful. Post, I remember you do that a couple times when we went to Vegas and stuff. I remember that video a couple years ago. It was dope. You had a six, six, six. I don't know. That room was deadly. Oh, yeah. Hotel suite? Oh, yeah. yeah. That shit was nice. That was at the Palazzo. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that shit was nice. You know, but we got, we all got to seriously link up, you know, because I know some of you guys are getting some results. You got your, your sales are picking up. Trade, trade, like, trade sales are picking up. I know all you guys' sales are picking up, you know, even some of the guys who are not on today. I know personally for myself, sales, you know, Sales have always been good, but they get better all the time. The more that we work on ourselves, that's the key. Is the more that we work on ourselves, I, I, I realize that's when the sales pick up the most, and everything gets better. Not just sales, but life in general. I agree with that. <laughs> you know, but I, well, I want to touch on though, what you were saying though. You bring your camera everywhere. I mean, I don't think people realize, man. Like that's the key, man. Like that's how you. You know, without having a whole bunch of capital, without having a whole bunch of money, saying, okay, I want to grow something. You know, they didn't have this opportunity, you know, 20 years ago. You had to go through television. Now you broadcast to the whole world. So it's like those people who are going to say, okay, I'm not going to sit and waste time anymore. I'm going to hustle this. I'm going to really get on the ball, you know, and make up for all that lost time. 
that's how I started with a video camera. That's 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 all it was. It wasn't even nothing fancy. I had a digital video camera. I just was out just talking and giving the shit that I knew. And from there, that's when it snowballs, you know. People always try to wait until they get the big shit. Okay, when I get all this shit set up, then I'm going to start get a video studio, a million-dollar camera. It's like you don't need all that, man. Start with your cell phone, <laughs> you know, and just keep rolling, man. Just keep this shit snowballed, man. That's, you know you got a whole empire, you know, when you wake up, you know. So that's the key. That's why. <clears throat> that's why. <clears throat> that's why I believe that all producers need to be in a power network because – at Empower Network events, the marketing material that you can produce in a matter of three days, it's 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 incredible. The, I, I build up three months, 90 days worth of marketing material in three days at Empower Network events. Because the, 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 the leaders that you're surrounded with, you know, all the six-figure month earners, plus the event itself, plus all the people you meet, plus all the experience that you have by going to the event by your, on your own and doing all these things with, with all these positive like-minded people, the marketing material you get out of that, it's for me, it was life-changing. My first mar uh, marketing event was Texas back in January at the Power Network event. And that, I learned so much in that short, short amount of time, a couple of days, three or four days. And then I went to Chicago a couple months ago and once again, with, I learned my awareness just went through the roof again from what I learned then. And now the next event is in Denver. So all you guys need to get to Denver. I know Warriors, you're going, Retro's going, Braden's going, you know what I'm saying? Everybody needs to go because that's going to change your life. Just by going to that event, you know what I'm saying? So, but you have to be in Empower Network to go to the event. So get in Empower Network. Asa, click the link below if you're watching this on the Beat Selling Squad. But you know what I'm saying? We were post before you jumped in, we were talking about a DMO having the daily mode of operation of, you know, getting your, your success. Uh, you know, your success for the day, your success, you know, books and meditation and reading and just get the flow flowing. That's, that's, the, that's the, the main, that's the most important thing when you start your day off. You know, you should have you, I keep incense by my bed and I keep uh, a book. Now I'm, I'm keeping the science of getting rich. Something that has to do with mindset and money together. So before it was think yourself rich and I get tired of that. In fact, that's still right here on my desk. You understand what I'm saying? But I start off remembering what the fuck I'm doing. You know what I'm saying? That this shit is real. You know, I start off refreshing my mind with that. And that's the key, you know. Then you this is something that I've been doing that works the day before, the night before you go to bed, make sure you have your tasks that you want to do the next day written out. Because when you get up and you're like, Okay, damn, what do I gotta do next? You already fucked up. You understand what I'm saying? You already about to just start bullshit. So it's like what I've been doing is the night before, write out all the things that I want to get done that day. You know, even now I've been, you know, going with timing it, okay, from seven to eight and just, you know, just to stay productive, you know, and making sure I'm getting the things done that, that I know I need to do. You know, instead of procrastinating for a month or, you know, weeks or months and years sometimes. Some things I had I should did a year ago, goddamn it, and I been bullshitting on, you know. So these are just little things to help us. Hmm. Great point, you know, that that I remember I was listening to Producer Profits audio and in one audio I remember you talking about time management. Um it hit me though, um, you know, I sometimes I at some at certain points in my business I realized I did do the time. I scheduled my day of timing, you know, at this time you can do this and that. And it worked perfect for that time. And then now, nowadays, I, I live off of just pure inspiration. Like every moment, I feel I'm guided to do whatever is best. But the reason for that, that the reason that I trust in that, that I'm not going to bullshit my time away, is because I'm so laser focused on why I'm doing, on why I'm doing what I'm doing, and what I'm doing. You know, I'm focused on my why so much that I trust that no matter where I focus my energy during that time frame, it's going to be going to the right place. Which is coming from a different perspective than having time management, more just you know, inspired action coming yeah, from a, coming from a clear why. It's it's it to me it's too full. Like you'll get tired of that shit too. You know what I'm saying? So right. we have to remember the human condition is that we get tired of doing the same shit over again. You understand what I'm saying? If you could look at your life, you didn't did shit and you was excited about it, you was getting some results, and then you're just like, man, I'm bored of this shit. I need something else. So we have to always factor in the human condition that we have and anticipate that. See, I don't live thinking that, you know, I'm just going to walk in this fairyland. You know what I'm saying? I know I'm a human being, so 
now I'm scheduling my ta task out. I know at some point I'm gonna get tired of doing that shit. I'm gonna be like, all right, I don't feel like doing this no more. So I'm gonna say, okay, let me just get into the flow, wake up, and then just go with the flow. Then I'm, it's gonna be a point where I'm gonna say, okay, I've been doing that. I'm getting kind of, you know, tired of that. And then I move to either. This is a human condition. There's no one way to do it or one wrong way. Just remember that you will get bored of doing this shit over and over again. And eventually you just go back to doing nothing if you don't stay ahead of the game, you know? Mm. I love it. I love it. I appreciate having you on board, bro, because you've been doing, you've been on this lifestyle, this life, this path, self-development for a number of years. So you have a lot of wisdom as far as, you know, uh, the... You just you you clarify a lot of things. Just put it like that. I always say I jumped in. I jumped in the water seven years ago. You know what I'm saying? I jumped in the water. You know what I mean? No motherfucking nothing to fall back on. Just okay. Let me see. And then so from there, you know, I didn't know anything. And then I had to learn all. That's why I tell people. Yeah. 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 Bro, you're wow. cutting out like crazy. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you completely cut out on the whole sentence. <laughs> mm -hmm. Think your connection. Oh, my connection is it? What, how's it doing now? Better. Yeah, I think you can. Y'all can hear me? Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's what I mean. I'm, I'm just saying it's about jumping in the water, man. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, now I just share what, mm -hmm. what I experienced. Traveling, being homeless. Like, okay, I got to you know, regroup and lost everything. Now I'm stuck in this goddamn city. Now what am I going to do? You know what I'm saying? Like all the guys, a laptop, you know, going through them in the early years, figuring all this shit out. So like, I'm like, you know, I don't think anybody who who listens to anything I'm saying should have to go through that shit again or go through it at all. Cause I'm telling you how to avoid all that shit. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> it wasn't nobody saying all this shit before. Now honestly, yeah. You know, it wasn't a lot of honesty in a lot of this shit. It was a lot of fluffy, you know, regurgitation. You want to make you feel good. You know what I'm saying? You, you know, it tell you a lot of shit to just, you know, have you floating around and shit, but not the truth about the human condition and what we go through. We're going to procrastinate, bottom line. You know what I'm saying? We're going, it's going to be times we don't feel like doing shit, bottom line. You know what I'm saying? It's going to be times where we bullshitting ourselves, like, man, I'm getting something done and we ain't. You know what I'm saying? That's what we do. So we have to start finding ways and tactics to overcome our own condition. You know, if we want to get where we're trying to go. See? And that's hmm. upon something, um, you know, not having nothing to fall back on, and, and I, you know, I believe in that strong as well. You got to delete the plan, delete, delete the plan B. You know, whatever you you, you might want to sell beats for a little while, and you're gonna test it out, see how it goes. But if you if you if you know it's, if you know inside yourself it might not work out, then you're gonna have a nine to five or whatever it is scheduled on the on the side. That doesn't help with your success. I find you gotta delete the plan B so that we're focused on plan A only, and mm. that does a lot. That does a lot. That's, mm. That does a lot. Personally, I learned that one. Because when I started, I didn't have a plan. That that's the best. That's one of the key points in my story. When I quit college because my grades went downhill because all I could focus on was making beats and selling beats online. Um, you know, I deleted my plan B. I deleted the whole nine to five. I deleted. I never actually had a nine to five in my life. And if I would have kept on the college road, I would have been stuck in one this day. You wouldn't probably know who I am, but. I deleted that plan completely and I stuck with plan A till this day and I always will because I know my why I'm doing this and I know my and I know the what. I know why, I know the why and the what's that what keeps me going no matter what. Right? There is no other plan for me because it's it's, it's a purpose, it's a life purpose. So for you guys listening, you know, you gotta find out why you're doing this. You know, if you're trying to take it to whatever you're trying to take it, five thousand dollars a month and you know, break break out and live the lifestyle you wanna live as a you know, producer who can travel the world or do whatever you want to do, open your own studio in every country in the world if you want, whatever you want to do, you got to know why, you got to know your why and your what, and then allow that to get, and, you know, visualize it and feel it and stuff and get so immersed in it, then, you know, then that's what your life becomes. You don't have a plan B. You don't need a plan B because the plan that you're focused on is so laser. That's all that matters. That's from experience.
let's talk about some let's talk about some marketing then. Let's talk about some marketing, marketing. And the one of the most important tips that I don't know why some people still don't catch up on it by at this point. I mean, I thought when I got into this that I'm going to talk about, I was late on it because I saw Postman doing it for quite a while. And then I realized what he was doing, and I was like, well, I should probably start this too. And I, I thought when I started, it was pretty damn late, but I'm realizing people still don't know about it. People still aren't, on, aren't up on it. And what it is is using videos. It's just making videos of yourself, beat videos, make beat making videos, whatever videos, just videos in general, because videos is what's creating the relationship between you, your prospects, and you and your clients. You guys understand? Who understands that? <laughs> oh, I mean, I mean, I see Eric making beats. I see Retro making. I mean, Eric making videos. Retro making videos. Wars videos. Trey videos. So you guys obviously understand that point. Post been making videos. I've been making videos. You know what I'm saying? So you guys obviously understand this. So shout out to you guys on that. But everybody watching, all the viewers. That's a key point: is making video, making videos. I mean. Personally, I think that's what helped my business go to another level. I started incorporating videos into my AWeber autoresponder. I started putting videos of myself and they're talking to people with a message rather than typing everything out, which is not bad either, but I'm saying it, it builds a relationship quickly, quickly, and very good relationship at that. Yeah, I can testify to that because I actually just did a video. So when people come to my capture page for the free beat, I got the video on top. And I've actually been getting a lot more responses, you know, through email. So it does make Good it job. more personal, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Good job. Definitely Good job. do that. Definitely do that. <laughs> Good yeah, definitely. I know Eric. Eric. Eric is a video master. These days. Right? He <laughs> videos like crazy. You no. Know, yeah. No, I just may even though I can't, you know, right now my computer is fucking up, so I can't upload the videos. But I, I got like ten videos just laying on my camera and my phone and stuff, you know, in total. So. When I'm ready, I'm fucking ready, you know? So I just do it, get it done. Every every yeah. single time I just put up my camera and make it like four to five videos on different, either follow-up, broadcast, just YouTube or whatever it is. So, you know, I have them ready. But Warriors, yeah, definitely that video on the free beat page. Because I remember I hit someone up and I said, you know, you want some free beats? Go to this link. And he told me it's a scam right away. <laughs> like, you know, it's a scam because you had to sign up. But then he watched the little video and it's on autoplay. So when he got to the page, it played the little video. And he asked me after he told me scam, I didn't even respond. He asked me, yo, is that you in the video? And, you know, all of that stuff. Mm -hmm. And I told him, yeah, that's me. Uh, just, you know, it's not a scam. Just go sign <laughs> up. You will get the free beats. And then I just turned a scam into, oh, nice. Thank you, man. And that's that was the video. Just Good job. <laughs> that's a funny experience. <laughs> yeah. uh, uh, <clears throat> one of the things I used to do in my early days, I don't know if you guys if you guys want to do try this. Uh, I mean, as far as creating the videos, like sometimes I I just sit down and write like 30, 40 topics, and then drink like five Red Bulls and just knock out every single video <laughs> back to back to back. You know what I'm saying? Because it, it, and then you got like 30 videos. You know what I'm saying? Now you're sitting on some, some weight. You know what I mean? Instead of having one, two, three, now you got 40, 30, 40 videos. You know what I mean? And that's that's that can get you right there real quick. You know, yeah. because two or three of them videos catch on and boom, you're at the top. Yeah. <laughs> post hop, post. I see some of your videos have like 100,000 views. What are you doing to get that? I don't know, you said it right, and even yeah. with Trauma's page, you see we got his a couple what of videos had like three, four hundred thousand. Is it all organic? Huh? Is it organic, like YouTube searches, so? Yeah, that's all that's all organic. It's all that's organic YouTube. YouTube? Yeah, it's all organic. The key I'm gonna give you guys my secret, man, and, and I, I talk about the title. If you look at the titles that I put on there, they're strategic. I, I don't just put shit like, you know, X, Y, and Z. You know, if you it catch your attention. Like you like, if you look at Trauma's YouTube, he has a a, a video that has probably about, by now 400,000 views on it. One video, and the video is entitled "Producers Won't Believe This." You understand what I'm saying? And then when they they they're searching, they see that producers won't believe this. They got they got to click that, right? They got to watch that. Now, if I put something boring like you know. Trauma talks about, you know, how to make beats that we fucking go right past that. You know what I mean? So it's about trying to get attention grabbers in, in your titles. That's, to me, the biggest key. Everything else, I mean, is 
pretty simple, you know. Everything else, your description and what you say in the video, all that shit is cool. But them titles are the key. Keep trying to find titles that get people's attention. Excellent. Thank you. I'm going to implement that. Yeah. That's it. The only way. And also, if you, make a, if you upload a beat, then just... Uh, Listen to the beat and imagine some some famous rapper on that beat, and then put that rapper in the title, because then people will search for that beat. If you just put hip hop beat, you know it's got mm -hmm. hip hop beat is not that interesting. So if you put Drake beat or something like that, then people will find it obviously more. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Keywords, yeah, man. Good, yeah. good, good tip, good tip. That keyword is keywords are definitely. And I haven't tried this, but I, I would try it is, is, you know, as soon as somebody comes out with a song like 50 Cent, you know, put 50 Cent and then, you know, that song type instrumental quick because you probably end up being at the top. You know what I mean? Because you'd be the mm. first one to put mm. that video up. Mm. That's still dope tip. That's a dope tip. Yeah. You got some gold bars. It was, it's not even gold nuggets no more. It's gold bars. <laughs> yeah. You got to get it how you get it, man. It's just traffic. We're trying to get traffic, man. That's the that's, that's the key what it that is. we're talking about. How do we get people to our shit? Because if we don't get them there, it don't matter how good your beats are, how good your opt-in shit is. If ain't nobody going there, then <laughs> bottom line, it just you ain't finna make no money and no beat sales. You know, so to me, it's like that's if you if all you guys have your shit up already, I think so, right? So you just got to go hard on that traffic. I mean, yeah. that's pretty much where all you guys seem like you're at, you know. Mm -hmm. For real. No doubt, no doubt. I'm averaging like 20, 25 to 30 uh, Aweber leads a day now on autopilot. Really? Yeah, really. If you get about thirty, that that should that should and ten percent three, that should be about you know you can probably get about three sales off that every day. <laughs> Yo, I'll give a story before before you jumped on about about having the the Aweber list. You know what I'm saying? And check the story out. So on Saturday, last Saturday, last weekend, um, I created this. Uh, it was. It was just this little, this quick product I made, something super jam-packed with value, but it was not a big product. It was just a simple thing that uh, I've I, I come to realize that, you know, the people who are buying it, they absolutely, they're thanking me for it, you know, once they buy it. But, but here's the cool thing is that it didn't take me no time to make, right? I just did it quickly. I put good energy into it. And then what I did is I wrote the email for it at nighttime. It was like 10 at nighttime. I wrote the email up. And the only traffic I was sending to it at the time was the email blast I was sending it at that time. And literally, after I clicked the send the broadcast, I clicked that button. Literally, within a minute, it got the first sale. And then throughout the next day, it got well, up to 15 sales, if I can remember correctly. Well, 15 sales that day from that one blast. And that, that was the, I realized that's the power of having a strong email list of, first of all, real people, you know, responsive people um, who are interested in what you got. So, so the traffic plus having the list plus having good quality stuff, you know, it, it will equal whatever you want it to equal, put it like that. You know what I'm saying? Uh, my goal is to get 55,000 Aweber subscribers in my list uh, by next month. By next month. So within this till ne this time till next month, that's going to be flowing. 55,000 subscribers in my Aweber. Now, I know they're going to charge me a couple hundred a month, and I'm cool with that. You know what I'm saying? Your fee, yeah. yeah. I love Aweber. Your fees. I, I, I know Aweber is going to charge me a couple hundred, you know, maybe. <laughs> I estimate around 300 a month, approximately maybe two to 300 a month. But you know what? I, I'm cool. I'm cool with it because I like Aweber. Aweber and me work together very nice, so I'm cool with it. You know what I'm saying? Well, the, th the thing about it is, if if it, if, it, if you got fifty five thousand subscribers, three hundred dollars a month shouldn't even be something you you even see. You know what I'm saying? Like exactly. you shouldn't even be seeing. You know what I mean? <laughs> off the off that fifty five thousand, you should be making at least ten twenty thousand dollars a month. You understand? Yeah. Easy. Yeah. It'll be more than that. You know. Easy man, I tell you, my you ain't gonna know my fees for all my list shit. I mean, I pay. I think I got like four different accounts. I got infusion. Like it's it's crazy, you know. But it's worth it, you know, because yeah. I don't even, it's, you know, that's where all my money comes from. So 
I'm sure I, I haven't touched into Infusion, but I'm sure the back end, the back office of, of Infusion tracking and all that is nuts. Oh yes, yeah, the next level. You know, I, I want to get the producers on it, but it's just it's such a complicated maneuver that you know, as a beginner, so on intermediate, A Weber to me is the best or one shopping cart. But Infusionsoft, like I said, it, it it's a whole different technology. It's based on tagging, which means that you don't really separate people by list. You separate them by who has certain tags. So let's say Master E Beats, right? I send you a link. I say, hey, check this out. Once you click it, it'll tag you, and I can put Master E Beats, watch this video. And I can say, okay, everybody who watched this video, I want to send them a broadcast. See what I'm saying? Everybody who didn't watch this video, I want to send them a broadcast. So it's, it's more detailed. You can kind of mm -hmm. segment it a lot better. You know? mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, I, you know, in the future, in the future, I do see myself getting infusion, but I don't want to operate it. I'll outsource, you know, the operations of it. But I do understand why that's necessary because when the list is so big, you'll def I'm gonna, I'm gonna want to segment my list deeper because I'm into segmenting now, but not to that detail. It's just the detail is, you know, opens to not opens, clicks to not clicks. That's it. Um, which is good for the moment, you know, having around 6,000 leads, good for the moment, but I realized when the leads go up and up and up, I'm going to want more and more and more tracking. Um, you know what I'm saying? I can see that already, but, you know what I'm saying? Aweber, I love Aweber. For a producer, Aweber, it's, I've tried the other ones. Aweber does, Aweber has something special going on. It's just the, the interface. All I'm talking about is the interface. That's all I mean is the interface. So simple, so simple to use. Shut up, Eva Brown. That you guys should. You, uh, do all you guys use uh, my flash store player? Everybody on here. Yeah. yeah. You guys should hit them up and tell them. You know, make some kind of integration to where when people buy, you can move them on a list and on and off list and whatnot. Because that's very important. Um, and I feel like they're lacking in in that area. You know, for producers to take that next step. You know. All they're giving us at the moment is a uh, sales tracking. On flash players only. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Well, I got some ideas. I'm, I'm gonna create my. I'm gonna create another one. You know, that's gonna kill my flash store player. But I, I'm not trying to put it all out there. But you guys know, I'm, we we got that. We got that in the works. So it's gonna it's gonna kill that shit. You know what I mean? That's what, that's, that's uh. Can you hear me what now? Yeah. 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 Okay. Yes. Yeah. So we got. I'm, we're gonna kill that that thing. You know, make it to where you guys, because you can't, you can't really multiply your profits on there easily because you don't know nothing that's going on. You don't know. Okay, how many people listen to this beat times how many people bought the beat? It should give you a conversion mm -hmm. rate. So you should see a conversion rate and say, okay, damn, ten percent of the people are listening to this beat are buying it. Let me put that at the top. Ooh. That could double your profits right there. See what I'm saying? What or triple it? your profits. Post, what if you just collaborated with those dudes and made it better? No. Take a no, cut. No. 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 <laughs> no. Start. We, we, we taking it over. We're going to just hey, go, go ahead and take that over. Yeah. Go, go. Yeah. yeah. Then remember to make it available to, to give out beats with voice text. Then you can, you said, I yeah. think, if you make that available in the actual player that you can when people if people can download your beats with actual voice text over the beat, then uh -huh. I think you will have a lot lot more you know yeah. people coming back to you for more beats. Yeah. And in the end, when they need the least without voice text, it will come to the people they have gotten the beats from. Ah, uh, okay. I think I'll that will be it. powerful. And see, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to get you guys together and because see, that's a great idea. And just say, what do you guys need? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I feel like they haven't done that. You know, they kind of just. They got. I feel like they don't even really even think about it. So they probably got a little system going. They got their little money, their little membership, and kind of like just forgot about it. You know. Yeah. So. They don't really think about the marketing, only about the automation on beat sales. Hmm. We're gonna we're gonna change that. <laughs> Bring it up. I'm ready. I want it now. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Send me to the sales page, and I got it. <laughs> Uh man, it's coming. You know, we're gonna, I'm gonna put some real money into it. That's the thing. I'm not. I don't want it to be cheap, and you know, I don't want it to look cheap. You know, I want it to really be. You know, if I put my name, I want this shit to really be like, damn. You know. You know who's killing it with B player right now? You, who's killing it with a B player right now is Jija. They got that custom B player, and the 
the features. Plus, I know on the back end, they got their own tracking going on. Those guys are killing it with tracking on their own stuff because that's their own player, actually. Custom coded. That's a and, uh, yeah, It's nasty. HT, it's HTML5, it's Flash, it's all that in one. You can see it on anything. But um, but the options, they, plus, I mean, the, why I say it because the ease. You can, they have, remember the old school, my Flash, there was to put the check marks in. That's what Gigi is doing, that put the check mark in. You know what I'm saying? Plus the plus the button itself that they're using is one of those marketing buttons of, about add to cart or whatever it is, I don't remember. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Where my flash though, I don't know, I don't I don't know, but you know, it's the best we got at the moment, personally I believe. Yeah, we also yeah. got mu music central, but I'm not messing with it. Nope. I tried it out, I didn't like it. Yeah, see, yeah, even Jesus, Jesus is nice, but Jesus, I don't see they ain't like ten of them. <laughs> like ten guys losing money. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> they got something going on. They got something going on. You know what I'm saying? It, it's it's turning into one of those big beat sites with a million producers. That's what it's turning into. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because it's not one guy. You know what I'm saying? Whereas us, like you know, all of us have our own beat business where, you know, we can have other producers. Like I get producers who produce beats for me, but it's still Blitz Beats. You know what I'm saying? It's not like a bunch of us in Blitz Beats or anything like that. I mean, if they, if they made twenty thousand dollars, I mean, they have to split that up. I mean, that would suck. I mean, it would basically be nothing. Yeah. No, that's 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 interesting. And you also said something else. Um, you said uh, what was it? Um, oh, it was Eric. You said the downloading of the beats, having that availability to download beats with tags. And you know that's that's what SoundClick helped me out with when I was on my SoundClick <laughs> experience. You know, what I'm saying was because SoundClick offers the free downloads on Tag Beats, and what that does. Just two days ago or yesterday, two days ago or yesterday, I'm not good with days or times, uh, but uh, I got a thousand dollar. I sold another thousand dollar exclusive, so I had the over a thousand dollar day, which is very common for me now. But what I'm saying is, the guy bought the beat. He was from Russia, and he had already downloaded the Tag Beat. He made the song. He wanted the exclusive. So that's what that's how that works. That's why you would want to give tag beats out because people can do demos on, and then when they're ready for it, they'll come back to you. You call your price, and I knew the beat that I was selling was was a banger. It's pure value, so I charged a thousand for it. He paid a thousand, nothing, no problem. You know? mm -hmm. He coming back for more. He's a he's a client. You know what I'm saying? So that's the power of giving those tag free beats. Yeah, that happened to me a lot after I made the sound click promo. <clears throat> exactly the same thing happened. Yeah, it, it's psychology, right? I mean, hell, once the artist writes that song and they're in love with that song, they're like, yo, I got to have this shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's different than hearing it and then forgetting about it later on in the day. And then, you know, at that point, they didn't heard a hundred different beats, you know? So when they when they had that shit in their head, that's like your product being in their head 24-7, you know? Because you know how artists work. They listen to it over and over again, freestyling. And then they writing a little hook to it, you know what I mean? Then they showing their homeboys or they, you know what I mean? The people in their crew, what they wrote to it. And then it's like, yo, either you're going to call for the money or all that shit was a waste of time, you know? <laughs> and then that's where the phone call, that's where the having that phone number comes in too. That's where if you have the phone number, you'll have a, you know, it's, it, it's very easy to make that sale. I actually made another sale today off the phone selling Beats exclusive to one of my other clients, but he likes to talk on the phone, so that's... I made that so that phone stuff really works. Oh, you guys got Google Voice, right? Yeah, that's the best. That's what, that's the best thing, right? You got yeah, that Google Voice number. Everybody should have a Google Voice number and a voicemail. And that, I mean, that's and you put that number on your B site. Say for exclusive, call this number. You know what I'm saying? Wait a second. Wait a second. I don't have it set up like that. All I have it is just like a, a num. It's just like I can just open it up and just start calling people, but I don't have voicemail and stuff like that. Yeah. Oh man, it's free. Y'all better get up on that Google Voice. It'll it'll forward right to your cell phone. You know what I'm saying? And you can it'll be a voicemail where they can leave a message and you can check it right off your Google e Gmail. Dang, I gotta get on that. <laughs> uh, I'm on. Y'all sleeping, man. <laughs> <Y 'all> s <laughs> oh man, you gotta get that Google Voice, man. And they're gonna call you. Trust me. People love to call when they you put the I do is put yeah. call for more information. They're gonna be calling your ass all goddamn day. <laughs> <laughs> I did. I called. I called your number the other day on the site just to test it out, and it did go to your Google Voice, and I thought it was pretty slick. 
Uh, uh, they harassed that number, boy. That's why so I put it up. I'm like, yo, yeah, that's why on there I say email. You know, it's on the voice of my tell like, yo, good. Uh, yeah, but here's the thing, though. You gotta go through each of those messages. I don't, I don't go through them. I got, per I got customer service assistance. <laughs> listen to it. Who? Who listen to the voicemail and then give you all the detail from the voicemail? Yeah, I don't, I don't listen to anything. My customer service assistants do that. <laughs> Yeah, and so the thing is, they to listen to the voicemail. That's what I'm saying. All they have to do is Google puts it on an MP3 for you, so you can mm. listen to it right off of the internet. Mm. You you don't have to dial in and all that shit. You can just press play, and it'll play the message right there. That's beautiful, man. And it'll transcribe it, so you can kind of read it. Unless they just talk, you know, retarded. It'll 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 give you the shit in a in a in a in word. So it it'll it'll give you the paragraph like oh hey what's up you can actually read it before you even listen to it. <laughs> this stuff. Yeah man, I'm telling. I'm you. on it. I'm on it. Get them profits up, man. <laughs> all right, all right. Um, hey, are you getting are you getting better conversions with your Google Plus picture next to your? Uh, URL, you know, like if you if you try to Google some, some people got their Google Plus picture next to the a link now. You understand what I'm saying? No. Like if you're to if if you're to Google Blitzbeats.com, you got your picture right next to uh, Blitzbeats.com, like in the actual tap top categories. Some people just have their URL there. You got your picture. I right think there. I think it's because I have a Plus account. Uh, okay. I think. I think that's why. You get to see who the person is now, so. Because mm. the email, because the email, I don't know, I'm not sure. I can't say, I don't even know. <clears throat> All I know is SoundClick, SoundClick is so strong that if you search Blitz Beats on Google, my SoundClick page is stronger than BlitzBeats.com. Also mine. That's how power, SoundClick has some power, but you got to learn how to use it properly. You got to utilize SoundClick properly. Like my SoundClick is a squeeze page. And that's how I utilize all my traffic I get. That shit is a beast. That's where most a lot of my opt-ins come in on a daily basis from my SoundClick page, which is a squeeze page. Man, I gotta get on yeah. that. Yo, you gotta get on that VIP SoundClick and turn it into a squeeze page. You know what I'm saying? You got Aweber already. You just need to get your SoundClick, and then you know what I'm saying. But the thing with SoundClick is you gotta either pay for promo to get your traffic flowing, or you gotta find out how to get organic in Google. And that's what I've been. That's what I've done is. My group, my SoundClick is organic already, so that way I get traffic daily from SoundClick. I don't pay for promo anymore. Although I'm not against it, I still do time to time, just to get just to get up. You know what I'm saying? That's what's up, thank you. And then when you build your list, you just send an email blast every time you make a new beat, and then and then you just fucking get that shit right to the top. <laughs> hmm. See, it's all connected. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that's what's up, right? Now. I never thought about that. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I, did, I didn't even think about that. It, it all builds on each other. All of it. Email marketing is so special. Like I'm so thankful for email marketing. I'm so thankful for it because that's the game changer. That's what sets us that's what, that's what allows us the lifestyle, I believe. Because if we just had beat pages, websites, and all we focus on was sending traffic, like it wouldn't be, um, it would, we would need more of an e-commerce site, I believe, a site that is more interactive, less compact, like my flash store is a really compact way of selling beats as opposed to an e-commerce store. Like I've done the e-commerce on the beat site years ago and it worked, it got sales obviously, but it's for, but I was focusing on getting leads, so that's why the e-commerce didn't really, it didn't make too much sense. So I deleted the e-commerce, stuck with the flash store, the compact, automated, uh, you know what I'm saying, that type of system. So automation is the key, that's what I'm realizing more and more, is that automation is the, is the key, you know what I'm saying? It's, and, the, you know what I'm saying, so whoever is still doing, you know, Sending those beats out through that PayPal, you know what I'm saying? You got to switch that shit up. What about, actually, I got a question. What about um, 
when you use that little PayPal button, when you have a new product out, for example, and uh, how do you do it so they get it instantly? Because I know you can do it when they actually click the checkout. You know, they have to click just like when you do SoundClick promo, you have to click back to SoundClick or something like that to to make it uh, work correctly, right? Yeah. So how do you do that when you make that PayPal button? Because I've tried and I'm, I'm not really sure if the people who actually buy are actually clicking the checkout button. Okay, there's two ways. Um, there's two ways that I, that are a must actually, because I love my stuff is has to be automated, right? So number one, when you're making the PayPal button, they give you options in the advanced section. They say take customers to this URL when finished checkout. You put the you put your download your download page with the links on that link. That's hmm. the first step. That's the first step. Yeah. So that's in the advanced. It says send people to this URL when they finish checkout. You put your download link page on, on that spot. And then you got it. And then in your Aweber, this is the cool part. In Aweber, go to My Apps, and it has the PayPal. And PayPal, I mean, Aweber will show you all your PayPal buttons and ask you where, when people put, when people buy from this button, where list you want to send them on. And then you put, make a new list for that product. In that list, you send the follow up with the download link. So that way you ensure uh. that people are getting this link. All right, I got it. I got it. Now, I does that work with my it. flash door player? Nope. <laughs> no, okay, I didn't think so. Okay. No. Flash door is man. As we talk about it, I'm realizing it's just so limited, man. Like, don't, I don't want to talk about it. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine all the beat sales from the flash store came directly into your A Web customer list. Yeah. Like that would be, and the genre on a different uh, different genre list that would take it even to a whole nother level. Yo, my my first player was uh, it was called Euphony Euphony Beats. It was a sound player, man. It was official, you know what I mean. But I, I went to the mod flash store, but it was cool because they already had SoundClick integrated into it. Really? Yeah, I'll, I'll give you the link right here, man. It, it was beast. I just didn't really know how to use it, and my flash store was a lot more easier for me to understand, you know what I mean. But I'm yeah, close yeah. To it. it was a that one. That one is a lot more. It's more advanced. It's like a. It's no, like the no, infusion no. stuff. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Yeah. It's like the infusion soft kind of place. <laughs> <laughs> and my flash door is kind of like a. <laughs> I wouldn't. I wouldn't even say Aweber because Aweber is nice. You know, I'm saying Aweber is nice for what they do. It's nice though. Yeah, I, I love Aweber. They don't. My only problem is they don't have a shopping cart. You see, what I'm saying that's the only problem. Okay. Okay. See, like you guys use all you guys just use PayPal right now, but eventually you're gonna want to get merchant accounts. You know, PayPal is cool, but when you start doing a certain amount of numbers, PayPal is kind of pain in the ass because people can. I don't know if you guys already started experiencing this, but you know they can do that fucking uh yeah issue refund or yeah that. It's, yeah issue that issue. Then PayPal just takes your money like fuck it, we don't care what's going on. And then you know you may you may give them the product, and then they're still like taking forever to do it. You know what I mean? So at some point you're gonna want to take when you start making a certain amount, you're gonna want to take that control out of PayPal's hands, and then go right to your merchant account. You know, so you don't have to deal with that shit. Are you using Authorize.net? Yeah, I use Authorize.net, but that that your merchant account has to go to it like a bank. So I got I got two merchant accounts, one with Chase and one with uh, one called PowerPay. You know, all the Empower Number guys, like the top, top, top guys, they use that authorized.net to get their daily payments up. Yeah, that that's that's your gateway. So they got the, that's like what you everybody uses, kind of like that as their middle gateway. You know, but like I said I know that right now, I don't, you know, PayPal is cool, but eventually, you know, just some, as you think about, it, okay, I'm gonna start, and you guys should be going pretty quickly. You don't see it. But you're only like a couple steps away from just your shit exploding. You know what I'm saying? It's like right there. You like one ad away from like, oh shit. You know what I mean? I just made four or five thousand a day. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh shit. I didn't even. You know what I'm saying? Because in your mind, that shit is like way the fuck up in front of you. You like, man, that that's big and all that shit. You don't realize it's yeah. really easy as shit. You know, it's like right there. You know, you just do put an ad there, put an ad there, a couple follow ups there, and you like, wow, that was that was a lot easier than you thought it was. You know, I mean, a lot easier, you know, so I already know, you know, I remember being there, you know. That's a real good point. That's a real good point. 
you know, the mind likes to always make things seem so much bigger than it really is. <laughs> that was a good point, man. You always hear me talk about my first $10,000 day because uh -huh. this shit was so easy. It was, you know what I mean? Like, I, I, I had probably made that in a year. Was, you know, I was bagging groceries. So in a day, I said, wait a minute. <laughs> That was easier. That was uh, wait a minute. That was so easy to even make. You know what I'm saying? Because in my mind, you know, you had to be Bill Gates or something to do something like that. You know what I'm saying? Because that's what you think. You know, because that's what everybody you, around yeah. think. When you did that day, uh, was that from a from a follow up system or was that from just sending direct traffic to the sale? No, that's send direct traffic to my phone number and say, "Give me a call if oh, yeah. you're interested." And then they called me, and then I just close them on the phone. For two thousand. Wow. Damn. And that was the first time I realized that people had money. Like, hey, two thousand dollars wasn't a lot of money to, to a lot of people. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, wait a minute, okay, two thousand, two thousand. They were just sending me over two thousand, boom, boom. You know, to the point it got so crazy where I was turning the money down. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, I don't know, I don't wanna and got people were still sending it to me. I had a guy in Japan. He was like, I told him I was like, nah, I don't I, I'm cool. You know what I'm saying? And then I always tell the story, and I woke up. <laughs> and uh, he gives me a call. He's like, yo, man, I put the money in your account. I'm like, what are you talking about, man? I told you I didn't want to do it. So I look at the money, and I'm like, well, I ain't going to send it back. You know, <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm send it back. So I'm like, all right. You know. So I went ahead and did that. So, you know. But like I said, it's easier than it. But I, I'm telling you, it's just because the people you're around, point blank, they, they never can even conceive of that type of money that quick. So the way they talk. Keeps reinforcing that shit like it's so hard. Oh man, you know our people talking about thirty dollars is struggling. I be sometimes I, I, you know, I be touch with reality because I forget. You know what I mean? I tell them, you know, just spend a hundred dollars. They're like, man, a hundred dollars, man. You know, man, I ain't, I'm like, oh shit, man. You know what I mean? But I, I understand. You know, but it's just it's funny. You know, when you go and you talk to the people, you know, and you realize like, man, you know, they really can't even see that in their mind. You know. <laughs> yeah. That's the danger about being around those guys. Being around people with money. <laughs> I, when I get around Jermaine, I tell you, when I, I had a meeting with him the other day, we partnered up on some stuff. And just hearing him talk about these numbers like it's nothing. You see, that's the difference. When you got somebody that's, that, who's doing these huge numbers, he's like, yeah, okay, we're going to do this number. And I'm like, damn. But it, it, he said it with such ease, right? But if you say that same number to somebody else, Right, we're talking about a website. We're finna partner up. I was like, yeah, we can do you know five hundred thousand. I'm like, damn, that's pretty good. You know what I'm saying? Five hundred thousand, that's pretty good in a year for you know one website. But if you if I say that to somebody else, they are gonna be like, man, that's a lifetime amount of money, right? They gonna be like, what? What are you talking about? That's that's crazy. You know what I mean? So if you get around them people, even the way that they talk begins to change your mindset real quickly. You see. And it shit starts happening for you. <laughs> that's that's why that's why I believe that all music producers need to be in a power network because that's what we get from being at the events. You see, we don't have access to Jermaine or even Postman one on one like that. So the next best thing for us, I believe, is gathering as one, like we're doing in the Beat Summon Squad, meeting up at Empower Network events where you're going to be around the six figure month earners. Dave Wood, the owner of Empower Empower Network, is earning five hundred thousand a month right now, half a million a month. So when you're around these guys, just like Post is saying, and you start interacting with them, you're 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 gonna break out. You gotta break through because you're used to being around people who who don't believe in it, and now you're around people who are doing it. You know, some transformation starts to go on, and your energy and your body just starts transforming. You know what I'm saying? You can't explain it, but you feel it, and then that's why you gotta be in a power network. You know what I'm saying? That's why I believe we all need a power because. First of all, they allow all of us. Second of all, we already have a music production community. Like, there's, there's a lot of us, you know what I'm saying? It's just growing. There's over 50 of us already, and it's just growing. So imagine when the word spreads even more, you know what I'm saying? It's going to go crazy. Yeah. I remember Blizz first. It was the first hangout, maybe second hangout. I think it was the second hangout. And you asked me, how much do I want to make? And I said, a thousand would be awesome, right? And yeah. you said to me, a thousand, that should be easy for you. Yeah, and I was like, when when we you know stopped the hangout, I thought about it, and I was like, yeah, it should be easy for me, and it's easier <laughs> than I think. And what happened the next month? It happened to yeah, me man. because I didn't really, you know, yeah, I didn't really, <laughs> really think about it as being hard. When you said that you should be doing that easily, and I just realized, yeah, I should be, and I can, and <laughs> I did, and I did, right? 
just by you saying that. <laughs> That's the paradigm shift, right? That's what Bob yeah. always talks about, the paradigm shift. You know what I'm saying? You just hear one little thing. That's what I was talking about wars early both in that book. All you need to read is one sentence, and it's like, boom, paradigm shift. It's like, what just happened? What I thought was true actually is not true, and this actually makes more sense, and then you just, you know, it just, it manifests, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Once, you know, I, I, I don't want to go into that too much, because it's that quantum leap. It's that quantum stuff, you know what I'm saying? Really? <laughs> There, there's a book that you guys might want to check out. It's, it's actually it's a paper book. This shit is like this thick. I mean, it's probably like 20 pages. And Bob, I heard Bob Proctor mention. He said you got everybody should get this book, and it's called U Squared. Words <laughs> beyond that. that. Yeah. So Bro. that U Squared, that book Bro. is the shit, man. That shit. Deadly, deadly. deadly, deadly. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, we got a crew of readers up in your post. I don't know if you know, but we got a crew of readers up in here now. The whole, like, majority of our, of the whole team we got, you know, as far as in Empower, we got readers up in there, daily readers, daily audio <laughs> listeners, daily meditators, you know what I'm saying? On the power affirmations, like, we are some powerful motherfuckers in the making, leaders in the making. I believe that's what's going on here. We're cultivating leaders, straight up, because you wouldn't be here for no other reason than to become, you know, become the leader that you see yourself being, you know? Just like Paul said, it's, it could be an advertisement of weight. Like, you don't know how close you are to it. That's why you should never, don't ever think about giving up. You don't ever have a plan B because it, it, it's very simple once you stay true to it and stick with it. Yeah, for those watching, man, take it seriously, man. Get in the books because I'm just going to, I'm just going to set it up for you like this. Imagine reading that book, You Too, and Under the Sun of the Cancun Waters. You feel me? That book is cold, right? It's like you realize, like, damn, you know. Like that. Like jump, that. yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, everybody that I've known that's big, they did that. They did it. Just, I haven't met anybody who, you know, inched their way along like a slug. You know, that's how we think, right? Like just, I got a partner now I'm talking to, man. I've, I've known him since, shit, 2007. He was some business partners. I mean, his shit, he was, he was, he, his back was against the wall probably about two years ago. He was, he got married. He was 27. Uh, he was in an apartment in Boston, and he realized he didn't have no money. So here he is with a wife to support. He was like, yo, I just made it my mind. Like, yo, either I'm going to do this, I'm going to get myself to December and just say, focus and fuck it. I mean, now that dude is balling, man. You know what I'm saying? Every time I talk to him, he trips around the world, Rolex watches, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, <laughs> the whole nine. You know what I'm saying? He talking about buying, you know, fifteen, twenty thousand dollars $20,000 worth of stock in Facebook and shit like that. And this happened, damn it, pretty much overnight. I don't want to say overnight, but it happened pretty much. You know, when I talked to him, he was struggling for that $3,000. And then, you know, the next time I talked to him, about four months later, you know, he's talking about Rolex watches and shit like that, you know? <laughs> And it just, it just, it, it, he just clicked, right? So he said he went from making, he actually put an ad out. He said he put an ad out and he went from making, you know, a sale here, a sale there to making, you know, big order sales to where he's getting $2,000, $3,000 sales. You understand what I'm saying? Wholesale. And it's just that quick little shift. And he put an ad out and, you know, now he's doing 40, 50,000, 60,000 a month, stuff like that, you know? Yo, I was reading this book. I just finished this book, actually, um, called Spiritual Marketing, Joe Vitale. Spiritual Marketing. He touches upon that, what you just said, but in a different way, he said, because Joe, Joe is an internet marketer. You know, Vitale is an internet marketer, so he understands, you know, email marketing, advertising, and he talked about it in this book. Um, when you're placing advertisements, the people who see your ads can feel the energy you put into it. That, you know, so when you're writing an ad, the intention that you're coming with, right? What, what is your intention? And people can feel the energy in the ad. They, he, 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 did, he said a story about a lady who placed an ad, who obviously, you know, is one of her first ads she ever wrote, but she set such a good positive energy into the ad that it literally sold out, you know, ASAP because she just put it out and the energy was so strong. And uh, that literally is one of the biggest tips he gave in that book. 
And that's kind of what you're talking about, folks. You have the paradigm shift, and then you start thinking a different way. You start putting different energy out, and you start placing an ad, and it just goes crazy. You know, that's how it happened to Jermaine, too. You know, he, he, he was struggling for about three, four years with that shit. He put a, a sales letter up, and he had a list. He was building a list slowly but surely that whole time. Then he got a course, and he put a sales letter up for the first time ever. He said he sent out an email blast, and uh, that day he made $1,200. He said before that he was making $300 a month. You understand what I'm saying? So that's over court. That's like, what, $10 a day at the most? So he said that after that, it evened out to about $300 a day. And since that day, he actually has a video online where he goes and shows you his shopping cart month by month. And you can see where it went from 20000 that month, then 30000 then 40000 then 50000 then 80000 then 100000 And he's showing you month by month, like you see this increase if his business just explode. It's actually on the internet. You can find it if you're real crafty. Look that shit up. It, it'll inspire you to actually see somebody do that. And, it, and he's doing this at the age of 24. You understand mm -hmm. what I'm saying? He wasn't 50 years old. He was 24 years old, sitting on a million dollars. That's what's up. Yeah, that's what's up. Mm -hmm. Just like us. <laughs> With a laptop and a dream, right? <laughs> I'm, so like, oh, I'm, I'm inspired for real. <laughs> 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 Hey, 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 have any of you guys thought about text marketing? You know, SMS marketing. That's the net. I gotta, I gotta get on that. I can imagine that should even be more, even better than email marketing. Mm -hmm. People be on their phone twenty four seven. So, if and now you can click on actual links on the smartphones. So when they click the little link, it will go to the actual. No internet. So, <laughs> are any you guys signed to hearandplay.com? Hear play. I had, I'm on the email list, but not okay. inside it though. You, you, you know, okay, sign up to hearandplay.com, everybody, so you can see how the shit. I mean, now we can't obviously. We're not on that level, right? He has shit that's just <laughs> insane. But I mean, he does the text. He, I signed up. He has this mobile marketing shit where. I get a text every Monday called the uh, uh, Music Monday Minute or some shit where he gets, sends me a text blast every every Monday, you know what I mean? And I'm like, oh, shit, okay, and he gives you a little tip, you know. That could be something that, you know, we could start trying to implement, you know, something that simple, you know. And he, yeah. but his shit is way, you know, he showed me, I'm like, yo, man, this shit is, you know. What was that site called again? Hereandplay.com. H e a r a n d p l a y dot com. And also, you got that. You know, um, when you look on the page, they ask for the e uh, the name, the email, the the favorite style, and your experience level. So that's just even. Uh -huh. <laughs> that's that infusion sauce. <laughs> yeah. yeah. He, he puts you, he puts you on a different list. So if you say you like playing jazz, he has a whole jazz follow up system for you. You've been playing yeah. jazz, and you've been playing for two years. He puts you on a whole another system. Right with different videos. Hey, I know you've been playing jazz for two years, man. <laughs> I got something for you. You know what I mean? It's like, damn. You know? <laughs> that shit is just insane. Then we just try to implement that with some you know, dirty style beats or whatever. So just have to do it like that. Man, I'm telling you, it's that's that's how you you know double your profits without having to do actually get more traffic or get more people. It's like doing what you already have internally and just doing it better, you know? Yeah, exactly. So we got to come up with a course on how to do that. Yeah, that's a man. I mean, that's that's a course. That's a follow-up course, Hi. you know? <laughs> yeah, that will be epic. There's, there's some of us that are advanced and need this type of, like the whole squad needs this type of stuff, you know what I'm saying? I know not the whole market needs it, but... You know, there is a crew of us who need that stuff, that advanced. Yeah, the next, yeah. the next step, yeah, the next, the next. But, but, but keeping, but, but utilizing what we have, like, because we got the Awebers and we got the flash stores and stuff, so we got to, yeah, you know. You can do the Awebers, Awebers perfectly capable of that. Awebers perfectly capable, because you can create your own, uh, you can create your own, uh, uh, what do you call that? Your own boxes in Aweber. So you can create, you know, just like that. What's your favorite style of beat? 
right there. Boom, you got them. Dirty South, R and B, you pop. Yeah, you can do that in Nate Weber. Mm. I'm gonna do that in the ASAP. Yeah, yeah, that would be dope. Then you can yeah. make even do the then put that little list on uh, on post plan and pop it up on Facebook on every day, every day automation. And then when people, you know, go put in your favorite beat type and go download your free beat. Oh, that would be epic. Oh, uh, Eric <laughs> got it. Eric got a break, dude. <laughs> yeah, I can, I can see it happen. <laughs> More targeted. And then just one day make 30 videos follow up for gangster beats, 30 soft beats, hip hop beats, R&B beats. Then you got it. <laughs> it's that. That's what I'm saying. It's that. See how simple that is? Now, it seems like a lot until you just sit down and that's why I said I used to just sit and make a list and then drink five Red Bulls and just fucking go get it. You know what I'm saying? And then you realize like, damn, it only took me one day to do all this stuff that I, you know, I normally would have bullshit and it took me three, four months, you know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what I always yeah. do to look a little more uh, different than the other video, I always take on a new hat. So I have it. <laughs> <laughs> just, <laughs> just switch every other video. Just switch a new hat, <laughs> so it looks like like a week ago, you know. <laughs> uh, uh, but that that segmenting by I'm telling you guys, you guys do that. You guys are double triple your profits just by. Telling people to come listen to the beat that they want. Like I always say, it just doesn't make sense if someone likes East Coast beats and you promote Dirty South beats to them, or they go on your player and it's twenty Dirty South beats at the top. I mean, you're, they're not going to buy anything, you know. So it's like if you can find a way to target these guys and, and do put them on different lists. Just very simple. It should be look Dirty South, East Coast, R and B, Pop are the main four, the main five. I mean, that right there, because then you can just say, okay, go listen to this beat. I put up a new beat called Dirty South 5. You won't send that to the East Coast person because they don't give a damn. They, they will never even buy that. You know what I mean? But then if you say, hey, I got a beat perfectly for you, man, it's going to be the next, you know, it's going to blow you up all over the East Coast. What? Really? You understand what I'm saying? Wow. Okay. And then they listen to that track, then you got to sell. You see? So, and that don't take more traffic. That don't take more anything but just using what you already got and making it a little bit more efficient. Yeah, then make some BCDs with the beats and stuff. Yeah. See? And it, all, it always sounds harder than it is. It always sounds harder than it is. Okay. Damn, that was deep. Hire an assistant. All you guys should be hiring an assistant. You say you don't have enough money. Look, you pay them. They got guy two from the Philippines that that you can have four dollars an hour and have them work two hours. You can't pay eight dollars. And then what are you gonna have them do? You can say, look, I need to know everywhere I need to advertise. You know what I'm saying? And I need you to hit them up, tell them this, because you don't want to sit there and do all that shit. You know what I mean? It's gonna take you too much time. So you, they'll be thorough and come back with a list of every place you can advertise your beats where artists are at. You understand? They already hit them up, and and, and so you see the pricing, and you already know how much traffic they get. And they tell them to put them in a spreadsheet for you, and they'll and they, boom. Now you know. Okay, I got this. You know, right now I got two hundred dollar budget. I can advertise here and here. When I get that money back, and I got five hundred, I can advertise here. They get. You know, that's that's moving to the next level, but it's it, it's simple. You know, hire somebody to start doing all that bullshit, man. Cause you just show us how I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. You know. So start hiring somebody to start looking for places where the artists be at. Is that what you Exactly. Looking for the sites. Mm. And have them hit them up and find, because see, you trying to do it is a frustrating task. That's not what we like to do. So after about four, you, you email a couple people, you're like, fuck this. You know, this <laughs> what we, we don't want to do that, right? We got to be honest with ourselves. But this person that's getting paid $4 an hour in the Philippines don't have a problem. They liking it. You know, they're like, hey, cool. You know? <laughs> that's exactly what I was doing before I came out here talking to Blake. <laughs> so, on Facebook, look. <laughs> I got that customer service, that customer service going out in the Philippines. From the Philippines. Good. Yeah. Good, good. 
Or it could be the U.S. too, because I got some people from the U.S. I got Philippines too, anywhere. You recommend sites like Fiverr, Fiverr.com, or Odell? No, not for that. Elance. 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 Yeah, that's the man. Elance make it so easy. It's 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 it should be illegal. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It, it, <laughs> I mean, for real. Yeah, that that's that is the next level having assistants calling our calling calling our prospects, calling our clients, following up. Um, because that's you know, and I learned I learned some from Empowers that when you have assistants, when you have a lot of people who are who are interested in what you got, as far as like maybe they're on your list or something, um, you want to set it, it. It's cool to set up appointment with somebody who's serious rather than calling everybody as yourself. Um, it, it, I learned that it gives an impression of you are actually you know a step above that when you have an assistant calling you people to set set up a meeting with you. You know what I'm saying? Set up so you know that you're serious that way you're not just cold calling people. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I tried that. I tried that with my wife. I got I had my wife do some do some calling for me. You know what I'm saying? Setting up serious meetings. Um, you know what I'm saying? That way because I didn't. You know sometimes I do call I do call certain people on my list. Um, but not everybody. But I'm sure using your wife was a disaster. You know, using family is always, you know, <laughs> family is always a disaster. That's something you learn as you, you know, just shit you learn along the way, you know. Yeah. But you, you guys got to see yourself as as bosses and and not the employee. And that, at least I told you about that book, The E Myth. Yeah. That's an important book if you're saying you want to expand. You don't want to. Your goal is not have to do nothing that you don't want to do. That's where, and you can start there. Like I always see, my mindset was where I, I just felt like I had to do everything. It was gonna be too hard to get people to do it. I just didn't have the skills. See, that's just bullshit. Then finally, I said, I know what. I'm just, I'm gonna try it. So I got on Elance and started doing that. Man, it takes a load off, and you're getting ten times the things done than when you try and do it by yourself. And it don't cost you hardly nothing, man. You know, it, it, and, and I'm telling you, that's the next step. And you can, I would say, start that. If there's advice I would have gave myself back then, it would have been start there. Don't wait till later to try to do it because that's how you grow, you know. Y'all got businesses, man. These is, you, you got companies with products and customers and prospects, you know what I mean? Look at yourself like that, you know. Hey, Post, me, how you spell the um, book, the e How you spell it? Uh, e and then M Y T H. Speaking of which, I want to go over a couple uh, points, some a little a couple uh, summaries from the book, the Emith Master Emith book. I have a couple noted down here already. Um, just like you're saying, post one one point I have right here is that a business that is dependent upon the founder is not really a business. A business that is dependent upon the founder is not really a business because if the business is to thrive, it has to move beyond just the founder. And a real business is one where the founder has created the system so that the business can run itself. That way, we're not the employee, like you're saying. We don't. We're not the employee of our of our business. Here. We want, you know, to have the system in place so that we don't have to do it. Whether it's like whether it's um, automated systems, whether it's having support systems, you know. Critical. <laughs> it's critical, man. And that's this is the thing. advanced. Yo, post. I just realized something. You know, okay. Live out beats. You got courses for average producers. You had quote. You know, the life transformation was at like different type of people, not just producers. You had like marketing magic was, which you know, another type of producer. But this hangout. Is specifically for like the advanced group who are into the who are into the who are who are interested in the next level because we understand it, you know what I'm saying? This is a select group I'm, I'm realizing more and more and there's more of us who are, who are viewing um, who are in here with us, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to everybody watching. But we gotta we gotta do something big because we have an advanced group here who can do some big stuff. Okay, so you said more advanced. I got one course that's coming. You guys are gonna love that one. Uh, but it's not too advanced. It's, it's it's just traffic mostly. But then I, I realize there is a need for 
because I know a whole lot, you know what I'm saying? But I can't put it all in it because, you know, you start now and, you know, I start talking about all this other shit, you're going to be like, well, I'm already lost. You know what I'm saying? But it's it's a whole lot behind it, man, to get to that next level, you know? And it, it is a lot, but it's, it's, you know, it's something that you can learn. Just like the E-Myth stuff. That's the next level for, for most of you guys. Even though you may not think so, it really is. <laughs> you know what I mean? Where you just sit back and you point me. Do this, okay. I need that done. I need that done. I need that done. And then it's getting done efficiently and fast. And you just sitting back. You more like the mastermind of, of your project. And you guys are producers, so you want to make beats. You know what I mean? Like you have time to do that. You know, and the freedom to just okay. I want to make these products. I want to make these beats. That's what my role is in the company. You mm-hmm. know, not emailing. And pretty soon you'll get to where you're outsourcing your market. You understand what I'm saying? You're outsourcing all that shit. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. Let's talk about some subconscious quick. Let's talk about because, you know, I don't know if you guys, whoever's in Empower, you guys saw that Dave Wood video where he talks about getting clear and the power of chunking. Post, you know what the term called chunking? You know what? Explain that to me. Okay, so chunking comes in when you're getting clear on your goals. So, so they would, you know, give, you know, man, that video was sick. I, I watched that video four or five times. Now, chunking when you're getting clear on a goal. So, like, a, like Eric, or I think I talked with Troy. I mean, Trey about this. So you have a goal, thousand dollars in a month, right? So the goal is to earn your thousand dollars in a month. Now, when you, when you're talking about chunking, it's about getting clear on on, on your goal, getting clear on it. So you would ask the question, so what will that do? What will that give you that you don't already have now? Right? Trey will say, well, I can have some money to advertise now. Right? That, that's what that will give me. And you say, well, so what will that give you that you don't have now? So, well, well some leads, you know, some, some people in my AWeb. So what will that give you that you don't have now? Well, that will give me some sales, right? So the, what will that give you that you don't have now? You keep going bigger and bigger with the, with the reason why, with the vision, with the goal. And then you come to the, to the, to the top. For me, example, like this is a deep, for me, one of my whys is I want to sell more beats. I want to sell more beats so that way I can advertise more, so that way my music goes out to more and more people, which is the reason why I'm doing this. I want my music to go to more and more and more people. That way, when I sell more and more beats, I can advertise more and more, and the system goes bigger and bigger and bigger. And that's one of my purposes to get my music to everybody who needs it. And so that that's when that's when you're at the top of when you're chunking. That's at the top. So then to start to start implementing your goal, you want to go right back under down to the bottom and say, so what can I do now to start making progress? What can I do now that can start me off? And so that's what they would talk about as far as chunking. Now he's recommend doing that with every goal you have in your life. Get to get clear on it, on your why. Because that will, that will, when you say a thousand dollars a month, it's like, okay, I want to make a thousand dollars a month. What do I do now? You don't know why you want it. You don't know what it's going to do for you. You don't even know how it feels. So when you're talking about chunking, you want to get completely crystal clear on why do you want this thing? Because the subconscious, you know, that's when we start talking about subconscious. When you, you get clear on the why, you start putting images and emotions in there. Subconscious will, you know, start doing its thing once you start doing that. So that's the power of chunking. All right, I thought you were talking about uh, some ice cream for a second. (laughs) I was getting hungry, bro. Uh, Cool. All right. (laughs) I like that idea, though. Why? That's really that's my whole thing. Is clear clarity. Everybody tell you that. And so that's a good tactic. Why? What will that give me that I don't already have? I like that. And then what will that give you that you don't have now? Mm-hmm. Because Dave found this out from his brother who is a hypnotherapist. And, um, you know, he has techniques to get people down to their core, down to their why. He'll act, he, at the Empower Network, the leaders training, before the leaders get on stage to give us talks in front of five, 7,000 people, they go through this training with Dave Wood's brother, um, and he, he, go, he, he, he breaks people down to where they start crying because they know, they know their why. All the leaders do that. It's, a, it's like one thing that the leaders do in a power network before they get on stage, when they do all the training with the leaders, they break it down to their why. So they start getting clear on why they're doing all this stuff. Why are they making all this money? Why are they sponsoring all these people into empower? Why are they going to go give this talk? And they break it down to their why. And people find 
their life's purpose from chunking, from, from doing these why, these questions. People's purposes, life missions start coming out. Rather than just saying, okay, I want to make, you know, 30 grand in a month, people are going to say, yeah, I want 30 grand in a month and I'm going to make that next month. But it's more important to know why I want that and what that's going to do for me because that's what the excitement comes from. Like the other day, I made a thousand over a thousand dollars. It's not that, that wasn't the exciting part. The exciting part is what I'm, what I'm doing with a thousand dollars. It almost gets you down to legacy. Like, like, what, what legacy? What was the point of your life then? You know what I mean? It's like, you know, money, music, all this stuff. It's like, well, what's the point of all this? When you go, the, and that's ultimately, I, I think, what we, we really want to know. It's like, what legacy am I going to leave behind? You know what I mean? And, and it's like, if, if you don't know that yet, then you still kind of wander. You know, no real motivation, inspiration. That last thing is going to happen. It's like, what, what, what's my legacy going to be? And to me, a music producer is already halfway there because you know it's got to do with music, right? You know, <laughs> most people don't even know that part. You know, they're just fucking floating around like I have no clue, you know? <laughs> so, <laughs> you know, it's always a benefit being a producer. You know, it's just like, but you bliss, you, I think you touched on it. I think we all have that though, right? It's like we want our music to be out there. You know, we want to touch the world with what we create. You know what I mean? Bottom line, you know, we're gone. That's what's all going to be left. You know, nobody's going to remember this goddamn uh, thing that I did right here. Y'all going to be thinking about some other shit, but that music will live on, right? Nobody's going to really think about all the shit that I done did and good and bad. I mean, come on. That stuff is forgotten, man. But that legacy you leave behind, man, that's that's deep. You know, Michael Jackson, we don't remember all that shit, man. We remember that music. I remember James that music, Brown, Right? Still listening to it. You know, your favorite artist, you listening to Tupac. Tupac been gone, but I got some of his music in my my uh in my phone in my Spotify, you know, and that's his legacy, man. And that's what we really want to do is leave a legacy behind, man. Get to that point. Yeah, that's the why, right? That's the why. Mm -hmm. That's why. That's why I always talk about that because it's the legacy. That's why because the legacy is your life, like your life, you know, what you leave behind. What 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 did you do here during this lifetime? And that comes back to the why. <laughs> yeah. Damn, you know, we're talking, we're talking, you know, this is the beat selling squad, but this is like life transformation at the same time, you know what I'm saying? This is it's real life. Uh, you know, it's, it's life. You know, you can't get together and talk things that make sense. You know what I mean? You know, people want to just talk bullshit all day, man. This is, this is life. We should, well, it's what everybody should be talking about, right? You should go out yeah. to the grocery store and start talking about, hey, what's the why of our lives? Right? No How, wouldn't that make sense? You know? <laughs> yeah. Nah, right. you know, this should be shown in the school every single night. <laughs> That's what Abraham Hicks be saying. You can't be non-spiritual without being spiritual. You know what I mean? It just coincides. You know I, mean? I love that, Abraham. Yeah, I love it. Yeah, yeah. If, if y'all haven't did your numerology yet, man, do your numerology. That'll, yeah, yeah. that'll, give, you, that'll give you life purpose right there without you even having to figure it out. Yeah, yeah. You know? <laughs> Your numerology, your numbers, have somebody who know how to do it, that'll give you your life purpose, and it'll give it to you plain and simple. And you'd be like, damn, you you want, because, you know, we not taught that. We taught that shit is some bullshit, you know. And then when you actually do it, you're like, holy crap, this is who I am. This is what I've been doing, you know. Do you um, recommend anybody for that? Um, I don't know anybody, because I, I, I had a lady who did it for me, who I know personally, you know what I'm saying? Right. So... She did it, and I was like, I didn't believe none of that stuff. Truthfully, I'm like, this lady's crazy. You know what I'm saying? That's how I was thinking. Like, yo, come on. Fuck out of here. <laughs> you know? That's how I was thinking. Because yeah, I was yeah. an idiot, right? I was ignorant. And then when she did it, I'm going, wow. You know, I was in tears. Like, man, this is exactly how, – how could this have happened like that? You know what I'm saying? Like, it, it's exactly what I've been visioning and what I felt my purpose was. But then to see it on paper and, like, this confirmed it for me. Like, wow. You know? And I had already been doing all that stuff, though. I just had never, you know, saw it that clear. Like, bam, that's a, it, it gives you your legacy, too. When you talk about legacy, it tells you what legacy you're going to leave. Or you're here to leave. You know, you decide whether you leave it or not. So let's, let's talk about that a bit. I mean, you're talking some other stuff, but let's talk about that. Like, I believe that before we came into these bodies in this lifetime, we already set this up. We knew what we were going to do. We knew what we came here to do. It's whether we, I believe it's whether we accomplished our mission or not. So... I believe us being here doing what we're doing is part of accomplishing our mission. 
You know what I'm saying? It's part of our work here. So shout out to you guys. You guys are awake. You know what I'm saying? You guys are awake to whatever level you're at and you you are where you need to be at. And that's, it, it, you know, it's like this life is actually, we don't even understand it. It's good to come. I learned it's good to come with the understanding that I, you know, I understand that I don't know. I don't know everything. I don't want to know everything because the amount of stuff there is to know. For somebody to know that, you know, it's, ret it's retarded to know everything. So it's better to not know everything and um, just be open. Right? Just be open to people. When people are talking truth, you'll feel people talking truth. And you got to be open, though. You got to be open. Your mind can't be saying, oh, this guy is, you gotta, your, your ego is going to be judging him and saying, you know, going all crazy places. But if you can just be open and quiet the mind, clear the mind, and just listen to people talking truth, I believe that's one of the most powerful ways to break through is listen to people, listen to the truthful stuff. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, we've all, we're, we're in the information age. There's, there's how much bullshit out there. We've all, how much bullshit do we see in a day, right? It's information age. Not everything is truthful. But when you find the truth, you know the truth because you feel the truth, right? That's why we're talking about spiritual marketing that Joe Vitale is talking about. People can feel the energy in the stuff you put out. Because we're energy beings, right? E equals MC squared. Every single thing is energy, so we can feel whatever it is. You know, we don't. It doesn't have to be intellectually or, you know, mindful. You could just feel it. <laughs> yeah. You guys, who, who feels good being here right now? Who feels good being here? Does this feel good? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's that yeah. energy. That's why it goes real when you don't want it to end, and you, you, you when it ends, you, you excited. You know what I mean? You energized. <laughs> you know how many times you've been talking to people, and when you end it, you're like, "Fuck, man, I'm ready to take a nap now." You know, I hear all that <laughs> bullshit. You know, <laughs> when you experience that, you know, it's 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 the it's the truth in us. You know, and we get to be ourselves. You know, it's like that barrier is when we go in the world, and everybody else is, you know, they're a certain way, and we kind of feel like we got to be that way. You know, we don't want to step on toes. We don't want to hurt feelings. We don't want to really argue with people because we know that, you know, people like to argue about every goddamn thing, right? You know, and tell you that this is right, you're wrong. So we always like treading water, you know what I mean? Then we finally just come and say, boom. You know, it's like a breath of fresh air, right? We're talking about numerology, we're talking about marketing, we're talking about big money, things that you cannot just walk out in the middle of the street and start talking to somebody about, right? They're going to look at you like you've lost your mind. For real. Mm. Okay, last last time I'm going to say this for all you guys who don't have this book already. This is a foundational principle book that everybody in the squad and everybody in the Facebook group is actually getting. Shout out to we had this uh, we had a girl on the Empower Squad who came in not long ago, and she because one of my, my my video I say when you join when you join my team on. Everybody watches the video. You listen to power affirmations and you get this book. She got in it the first day. She said, you know what? I just did the power affirmations and I read a little bit of the book. and I feel lighter. I feel more positive. I feel awesome. Thank you, Sean. You know what I'm saying? And, as, and, I, and why I'm saying that for you, dude, because when I first started reading this book like two weeks ago, not even two weeks ago, I instantly started seeing massive change in my life. And I, and I see why. It's because of the principles I'm applying from the book doing the power affirmations, reprogramming the subconscious thing with it, that's the transformation. That will get you wherever you're going. When you know why you're, where you're going and your why, and you start doing this now and you start going with it, there's no stopping you. What's the name of that book? It's called The Magic. It's the latest from The Secret. Okay. That's why it looked like the same symbol. The round yeah, of the bar. Okay. It's, Trevor, it's are you alive? Is, is Trevor alive over there? Just nod your head, Trevor. Shabbat, Shabbat, Shabbat. Let's see where you lose Trevor over here. No, no, I'm here, man. <laughs> Yo, post Trevor. I'm just on mute. Yo, Trey is a 15 year old producer with his AWeber setup, flash door setup, optimized <laughs> press setup, advertising wow. going, getting beat sales, 15 years old. Wow, 15? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Crazy man, yeah. that's crazy. You gonna be a millionaire by nineteen? Damn, hopefully, about to say hopefully yes, yeah. Man, fifteen, boy, you getting the game at fifteen? <laughs> Shit, I couldn't even talk to fifteen. I was high all goddamn day. You know what I'm saying? Just walking around toasted all day at fifteen. Lord no. Oh man. 
Yo, Trey, did you start marketing that? Uh, oh, <laughs> no, man. I ain't put that up yet. Gotta do it. You gotta do it, bro. <laughs> 15 year old. That's crucial. Yep. You branding yourself on that. Really? Oh man, yeah, fifteen man, that's big man. That's that's see that's that's newsworthy. So you can get on these sites, man, and really start working that fifteen year old angle, man. Because especially in being positive, not a lot of young fifteen year olds doing anything right now. You know, on the caliber of what you're doing, your own business, your production. That's crazy, man. Mm -hmm. Reading Bob Proctor books. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yo, I read, I read, I read, a, I read this quick thing. I think I can't remember who said it, but Bob Proctor was quoted as being an enlightened businessman, an enlightened, enlightened businessman. And I was like, yeah, that is, that is, it's exactly what he is. Oh yeah, him and I, I like Donald Trump too, man. Yeah, that dude's fucking. Yeah, that dude's hilarious, man. I love Donald. See, a lot of cats they don't <laughs> understand, man. They, Donald is a character, man. Like, but he he grew up. In the church of Norman Vincent Peale. See, people don't know that. See, you gotta look at that. He, you know, who Norman Vincent Peale wrote the book, The Power of Positive Thinking. You understand? He was that's that's all that came from Norman Vincent Peale. Donald Trump grew up in his church, so he was getting that message every goddamn Sunday. You understand? Now he goes on to be the, mm. the biggest developer in the goddamn United States. How does that happen? Right? Uh. You see. You got to, people don't really, you got to look at the background. See, I know how he got there. Listen so, to this, this stuff every day growing uh, up, every, you know what I'm saying? That tells you where his family was at. If, it, if, if his parents were taking him to that church, come on. Uh, that's that subconscious. Uh, yeah. Man. Yeah. Also, when you hear people talk about him, they always say that, how can it be that he always can make a million dollars even though he goes broke? And then the next year, he's a millionaire once again, right? It's because he knows how to do this stuff, and he knows it's possible. So when some when I talk to some some of my friends and some of the people in my own age, they be like, "Yo, I just want. I wish I won the lottery." You know, five years after that, they got, they they're gonna have no money. <laughs> I always say I would rather know how to make a million dollars than get a million dollars. I mean, hell, if I if I hit the lottery, so be it. You know what I'm saying? But damn it, I'm not depending on that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah exactly. <laughs> hey, hey, <laughs> you know, I take that 300 million shit. Go ahead. <laughs> you, know, <laughs> but, you know, you know, I, I'm not gonna depend on that. You know. <laughs> this is that freedom lifestyle, the lifestyle of the laptop. You know, the laptop market, the laptop entrepreneur. Traveling, going different countries, different beaches, different cities, you know what I'm saying? Different mountains. This is that lifestyle. This is why we're all here to live that lifestyle. Some of us are already living that lifestyle. Most of us have been living that lifestyle. I got into the lifestyle a little while ago and I'm loving it. You know, you guys are just getting into the lifestyle and you guys, I see success in all of you guys. Like, you guys are having massive success. You know what I'm saying? And the reason why you're here is, you know, to elevate yourself, to keep going to the next level as opposed to not keep saying the next level, advanced, segmenting, all this different stuff that sounds like gibberish right now. But it's that next level. And um, I know even even though we're at certain levels, I'm at a certain level, I'm still trying. I'm, I'm, I know my next level. Right? I wrote it down this today. I always journal more. I know my next level. And that's why we keep you know, finding new books, finding mentors, listening to the right people, getting the right knowledge, taking the right action to get to those next levels. Because ultimately, we're living our living the lifestyle of the laptop entrepreneur. You know, the laptop marketer. You know, what I'm saying that's what it is. Like I've been all I've been all over the Caribbean with the laptop, making sales, beat sales on automated. You know, not even not even working. Period. Just sitting on a beach all day doing that for two weeks at a time and more you know what I'm saying just that's the lifestyle that's why we're doing this that's part of it at least that's obviously not the big reason why but I'm saying that's part of it that's going to be the lifestyle you can pick up and go wherever anytime you want because you want to do it who likes that who, who feels inspired by that I know I love I love the fact that that's what this offers 
I'm inspired by it. I can't wait oh. to get there. <laughs> Uh, good job to all you guys for being on here today, man. This was a power, power, power packed hang on, power packed. Time went fast on this one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Two hours, like, like that. <laughs> five, five, five. You know, as we talk about that numerology, every single day I see 11, 11, 12, 12, 5, 5, 4, 4, 3, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 4, 3. Every day I see these numbers going off, just sending me signals from the universe, you know, all this new energy coming through all this transformation in the, in the numbers and the symbols, you know, you guys, you guys got to watch that, you know, go to that life transformation course. I was watching a video earlier, actually. I, I did that three years ago and I still watch a video every now and then from the Live Off Beats Life Transformation course. And that will start awakening your consciousness to different things you would never be aware of as far as energy and, you know, metaphysical Man. stuff. I still go back to the course and I created it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm like, yeah. I'll tell you, I was fresh off a two month meditation and retreating the forest off that one. You know what I'm saying? So I was fresh, like, oh shit. You know what I mean? I had to readjust to the world again. You know what I'm saying? But I was I was with monks. You know what I'm saying? So I was out there with monks for two months, man. It was a whole nother. So I, that's when I created that course off of that. I was on some other shit, man. I'm still trying to get back there. You know what I'm saying? The, yeah, you were in the clouds during that time. <laughs> you know, talk about experiences, <laughs> man. That's a good place to be. I, I honestly, I love because I'm a I'm a space I'm a space cadet. I love I love I'm just you know space is just me. You know what I'm saying that that's where I'm from type of thing. And um, when you do when you do so much meditation, you know you just go to space. You're just in that space because your mind is clear. You're so clear that you just live from that all knowing that oneness, and you just live in you can you can go fly. You can take your consciousness to space in in a single second, or you can do whatever you want because you're just that clear, but um, I believe we should all go to, or whoever's inspired to, to go to a meditation center. I see one in India. It's a retreat for like maybe a week or so in India. Prime, prime, prime one where they cover meditation, they cover all of the stuff, you know what I'm saying, for a retreat, like a week. And you know, that, in, that would be. In, in the country, India? Yeah, in India. Uh, oh, I thought it was a city in Idaho, man. That's far, man. Nah, bro. <laughs> <laughs> the reason India is because of the energy of the place that it's at, like the ashram or wherever, wherever it is. I'm not sure exactly where it is, but the energy there, you know, it's some of the say some of that sacred energy that's on it's earth in you know, some of those places. Yeah, holy, like, yeah, yeah the holy, 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 holy place. Yeah, you know what I'm saying yeah. those some yeah. places like Peru and you know all these Chile or where is it right now? I think it's Chile or Peru. I think it's Peru. Yeah, the spiritual yeah. spot of the earth right now. Man, I tell you where to go. Go to go to Egypt or Ethiopia. You want to talk about spiritual man? You know what I mean? That's what that pyramid is. That's what those. That's what those are. They built temples. You understand what I'm saying? At that time period, that marvel the shit that's and rival the shit that's here today. Now they don't show you none of this stuff. You know what I'm saying? You're not gonna see any of this shit on TV because our media is want to keep you a certain way. But look it up on your own on YouTube and look at some of that stuff. Look at some of that stuff in Spain. That the Moors built, and you look; these are handcrafted temples. That I mean, you can't. It can't. It fathoms the mind how a human being could even create that at the, in those time periods. That's because of the spiritual energy at the time. So they were way higher thinkers than we are now. You know, they didn't have Kim Kardashian on goddamn TV all day. For real, you know. <laughs> look look that up. stuff up, man. Shut out spirit science. Spirit, spirit yeah. science on YouTube, you know. They, they yeah. touch upon stuff like that. They'll start getting your knowledge of spirit yeah. science. I'm going to have to look at that. That shit is deadly. The cool thing about it is it's, it's a cartoon. That's the cool thing about it. <laughs> What's, it's called spirit science? Yeah, spirit science. Okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna start, from, start from the first bit if you, if you want. Start from number one. There is there is one video where all the videos is combined, or combined in one video. Oh, yeah, we got, we got, yo, this is that. Oh my god, I didn't even realize. Like, there's we, a bunch of us have already watched Spirit Science. And spirit Science <laughs> is that it is that you know that that spiritual woo woo stuff that everybody likes to be afraid of. You know what I'm saying? Well, there's two things I say in the universe that everybody's afraid of. That's 
spiritual stuff and hard work. <laughs> people, <laughs> know, people are afraid of hard work, boy. You know, that's bad. we don't want to work hard at all, boy. You know, we will procrastinate that shit, boy. We got, and that's just so honest. You understand? <laughs> you know. Oh, <laughs> uh, shit. All right, I think we're going to close up 6 o'clock. You know, shout out to every all the viewers. We have a bunch of viewers, and all throughout the week, they get hundreds and hundreds of views. So shout out everybody. Make sure you join that Empower Network team. You know, what I'm saying that Empower Network link is right below. You know, join. There's over 50 of us already, and there's going to be 500 uh, before the before. I'd say within the next 90 days, there's probably going to be about 500 of us just going strong, continue to multiply, get get more powerful. Can you imagine how powerful this panel is going to be six months from now? You guys are going to be doing over 5000 a month, you know? Or whatever number suits you. Let me put it like that. Whatever number suits you, that's what you're going to be doing now. So you get out those comfort things. for a second. 5000 a month? Oh, shit, nigga, I'm going bankrupt. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I'm talking, about, I'm talking about, you know, Trey, Master of Retro. I know Wars, all you guys are going for that. You know, you guys want to hit that. I mean, Eric, you have already, you have already passed that 1,000, so now it's two, three, four, five thousand. You know what I'm saying? That's why I'm going for 30,000 now. My number is 30,000 because I've surpassed the 5,000. And to get to my 30,000, I know what I'm doing. I know my why. I know my what. And I'm allowing the how to manifest. And you know what I'm saying? That's what it is. This book really allowed for this to come a lot easier. The magic book. Make sure everybody go and grab this book. Grab this book and implement it. It's not just a book you read, you read up, you actually do daily uh, daily assignments kind of type of thing, you know what I'm saying? Just counting your blessings. It's all about gratitude. Just, long story short, it's about being thankful, being grateful for everything, for the hangout, for the headphones, for the microphone, for YouTube, for Google, for the computer, for Postman, for all of you guys on the panel, for internet, for websites, being thankful in general for life, for air, right? For the condo I'm in, for the chair I'm sitting on, right? For the keyboards that we play our music with, right? For the ears that we have to listen to all the stuff with, for the heart that we have, to, you know, to live life, right? For our bodies to live, right? There's a million and one things to be thankful for, you know what I'm saying? And that's what the book, that's what the book is all about. And that's what changes lives. That's why I'm saying that because the book brought me to my, to my reason why I'm doing this and I know why I'm doing this. And I'm so happy and thankful to be doing it, you know what I'm saying? So shout out to everybody. If you guys want to leave your websites, go for it. You know, just start shouting out, balling out. Blitzbeats.com, BeatSongSquad.com. You know what I'm saying? RetroJBeat.com. BuyRapBeatsOnline.net. <laughs> What's that one? BuyRapBeatsOnline.net. MyRapBeatsOnline.net. Okay, I'm check that. Buy, buy rap beats on. Oh, BuyRapBeatsOnline.net. <laughs> Masterbeats.com, Eric Master. Before before I sign out, Postman, I want to get that you know that product. I've been trying to get it. The ship fucked up. I got my money back. Now I want to get that shit. Now and I'm talking to you. Which <laughs> the, 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 what's it called? Paychecks and profits. Oh, paychecks and profits. Oh, okay. yeah, oh, man. <laughs> Yo, I, I, didn't I didn't I didn't I see the link? No, I you know I paid for it. Three times it didn't go through. I got the money back now. Oh, so now, oh, oh okay, okay, okay. So uh, now I, you know, I had the money anyway. So, but now, and I'm talking to you. Just let me send you the money somehow. I don't care PayPal. I don't give a fuck. Okay, so what? <laughs> I just want the product because I need some fucking audios. <laughs> okay, so I right, look do this. Uh, do you have, still have the link to it? The link, yeah, yeah you, some of your emails, you know, I always got the, the email. So, but the problem is I don't receive the product after I pay. That's the whole problem. Are you in, what country are you in? That's, I think it's your country, huh? What country? Denmark. Are you? Denmark. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's right. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, okay. I, 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 I'll shoot you a PayPal. You can, you can send me a PayPal. I All right. Cool, that, cool. Why, what is that? What is up with that? I just, Fusion Shop, Fusion Shop doesn't. Yeah, well, yeah. It's, it's it's just sometimes your merchant a merchant account sometimes you know it's just some of those things sometimes overseas they have trouble maybe because their ABS number or just you never know uh, so you never know card something yeah. like that <laughs> <laughs> okay. 
I got you. <laughs> of course, so on another note, we got to, we got to, we're, this is, time is happening. You know, it's 2013. It's time to do this big stuff with, with, with live events, right? Real stuff. Like we have, we, like we all buy products. We all, we all product, you know, we all indulge in products, but we need to go deeper than that. That's why the Beat Selling Squad was created for us to come together. But we need to take it even further. We need to do events now, live events with, you know, Okay. You know what I'm saying? The next level shit, you know what I'm saying? The next, you know. All right, like put it like this, put it like this. You put all the courses out, right? I, I, I don't know for myself, I've started from the ebook, so I've been, I've been in it. And, you know, when you reach certain levels, it's like, I know there's others out there who are at, you know, high levels as well who want to come together and bring the success together. All right, so you want to do a live event. Okay, well, let's put some, let's, 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 let's talk, let's talk. Uh, tomorrow, say it's what Thursday or Friday. Say it's Thursday. So let's talk tomorrow. Let's let's see. We can, let's put it together, man. Let's you know put our heads together and see what would make sense, where it would make sense, when it would make sense. And I'll uh, send a survey out to everybody, and you guys could you know you know we'll we'll have some ideas, and you can get put your ideas on there, location and whatnot. And then uh, let's compile all that, and we'll just make something happen. You know, we make it happen within the next two weeks. You know, we'll have something set in stone. And then, you know, we'll pick a date, maybe in the summer sometime, August, you know, every, you know, summer is usually a good time for people to travel or not. Um, so let's do it. I'm with it. Mm. All right, you guys. Much love to all. Much, much love to all you guys. You know what I'm saying? Check back for next week's uh, hangout. going to be, you know, it always gets better and better. So, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but, you know, love and light, uh, peace out. Peace. Good. DJ Wars from DJWars.com. If it ain't a Wars beat, it ain't banging. You heard me. Positive vibes, yo. <laughs> Peace, bro. Uh, how do I? Hey, hey, how do I? Uh, message somebody. Like, how do I message Eric? Yeah. Yeah. Can you get on Facebook? I can. I'd rather not, but I can. Just put just de just deactivate your chat, then people can't see you online. I don't even know how to do that. No, if you just um, let me show you that. There's a way to do it in here. It's uh, okay. You gotta do a little code in the chat. It's slash two. Slash two. Slash t o. Oh. Slash two. Okay. And so it name. sends an inline private message to the specified user. Okay, I, I see. Okay. Did you get that, Eric? Yep. Good, good, good. It's your PayPal uh, email. Well, thank you, Post. To. Thank you, Post, once again for you know being here with us. Thank you for putting up, you know putting all your energy into Live Off Beats because I mean shit, you're changing your lives. I, mean, I appreciate everybody on here, man. And Eric, I, I just want to ask a question real quick. So, Master E, how did you find Live Off Beach? I'm just curious. Where we go? Oh, it's a long time ago. Looking like Selby's. I think it was. I think actually it was the old YouTube videos, the uh, old ones okay. where where you got that, you know, that uh, skull cap on and you <laughs> talking about <laughs> making music in the porn industry and stuff. <laughs> I think that was the first one because I remember just laughing when you said that. Uh, <laughs> that was the first one. And then I went to the website and then took it from there. <laughs> uh, what so about I you, watch Retro Jake? All the shit. You too, the same thing. You too, okay. I watched the whole YouTube video. Okay, okay. So YouTube is a hit, okay. That's hilarious, Eric. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, <laughs> yeah. I remember that like it was yesterday. <laughs> How are you, Retro? You seem young too, man. I'm 24. Uh, that is young. <laughs> he said, no, I'm <laughs> saying, hey, you young too? Hey, man, that's dope. Hey, man, y'all cats are finna get it, man. Ah. <laughs> man. Look at what we created here. Yeah, yeah look at what we created here. Huh? Look at what we created here. man. Y'all, man, y'all about to pass me right on up. Especially if you're young, like, you're 24, you got all the energy, man. You got all the energy. You know, your shit just starts to lessen, you know. If I knew that when I was younger, I'd, you know, 
when I was 18, the energy I had, boy, you know, now I'm 26. I'm like, okay, I still got a lot of energy, but even at 23, boy, I was just going everywhere. You know, I, I didn't give a damn. <laughs> you know, I was just throwing shit out there. You know, I, I, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the product is 40, 47, right? Yeah, 47, yeah. And, uh, I'll shoot you down a little bit so you can have that. Much right. uh, love, you guys. Much love, love, yeah. Bliss, this shit is dope right here, man. I like this, man. No doubt. I like this, man. This, this, is, a good, this is a good idea. I don't know I'm trying to turn big. You know what I'm saying? It's ready for another level, you know? It's ready for some structure. It's ready for, it's ready for it. You know what I'm saying? This is like the raw format, but it's ready for something. Yeah, yeah, it, yeah. It, 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 it's 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 going to be there though. It's going. I already see. I just sent you the link, Master E Beats. Y'all gotta come to Empower Force. Nice. Yo, everybody, yo, Retro. I know you didn't get your ticket yet, but all y'all need to come to the Empower Network event. Your lives are going to change. Post, I know you've been to events, but not like Empower Network events. <laughs> not like an Empower event. I'm, I'm, I'm sure it's not. You know, you the way you talk gun. about it. <laughs> Retro, when are you going to buy your tickets? Next week, most likely. All right, man. I don't know about you guys. I don't know about you guys, but that shit is where it's at. That is where it's at. You know what I'm saying? Well, they, well, I can't go to the one in July, but if it's one after the summer, every you know three months, saying? every three months of July, mm-hmm. August, like September, that that sounds more about right. Let's do it, bro. Let's do it. You know, I'll, I'll check it out. I know you've been, you know, you've been raving about it for a while. You know, I've been like, all right, we'll see. Yeah. We'll see. You see, you're gonna see me. You're gonna see me get the fat check and buy it. You know, you're gonna see me with the fat check. And I know you're going to be asking me, so what the hell did you do, man? What is the secret? Oh, <laughs> 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 uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, guys, let me get out of here. I, yeah, I, 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 didn't on, I didn't plan on staying hell two hours, but it was good, man. I like, I like hanging with you guys. Peace out, guys. All right. Peace. Guys.